And we're back with the Opie and Anthony show. We lost Jimmy for a little while. This is the craziest uh, morning show in America. Jimmy was there, but now he has to go somewhere else to do another morning show. Really? We're the only morning show that that does other people's morning shows. Yeah. <laughs> like, and not even like it's not a guest that yeah. has to go and do it. Jimmy's a member of this program. Yeah. It's one of the main players. He's now not on our show anymore because he has to do another morning show for about 15 or 20 minutes. He's doing some other show. So <laughs> you're already doing two shows at the same time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. We, <laughs> so we called Louis C.K. off the bench, yeah. and he's now in Here the game. Yep. I'm always ready. It's Black History Month, by the way. We're uh, we're going to be oh. celebrating. Yeah, we're going to yes. be looking at some very important black people. The history from, of blackness. From the world yes. of everything. From the world of blackness. Gotcha. So we're going to have the first one month. in a few minutes here, hopefully. I like the fact that we're uh, getting right on it, the yeah. 1st of February, mm -hmm. and uh, it'll last the whole month. Yes. We'll be on it every day. I request mm -hmm. that we look at sticks from Happy Days. Yes. I throw that out there because that's where we're going with this bit, by the way. They call him the sticks because he was skinny, by the way. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Wasn't he? Had no, he played the drums. He played the drums. <laughs> he didn't play the drums? Actually, that, no, he, no, he did, but that's oh, okay. not why they called him sticks. Yeah. And he was offended. I remember that. Was he really? Because I played the drums, man. Oh, really? What do you think? We all play the drums? That's actually where but I he learned. Did play the drums. That, but he did play the drums. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> that's what it was. They call you sticks because you played the drums. Like, hey, man, no. Well, wait a minute. Uh, white people don't. But you do play the drums. Yeah, no, I do. But white people. But that's not why they call me sticks. <laughs> but white people skinny. don't don't uh, think that every black guy plays the drums. That's I ridiculous. learned on rhythm. I, it's a rhythm thing. Yeah, I, I understand. But I learned on Happy Days that we think that that's ridiculous. Yeah, in the fifties. In the fifties, <laughs> right, right, we right. learned we learned a lot about what we thought in the fifties. I actually found out on Happy Days that all of that marching and uh, fire hoses on children and stuff mm -hmm. was trying to teach white people that. Not all black people play the drums. Yeah, yeah. That was the yeah. game that was made yeah. mostly. They're called sticks sometimes Stop. because uh, yeah. they're skinny. They're skinny. Hey, hey, put up one of the really good pictures from yesterday. I want to do some with Louis in a second here. Hey, uh, I want to do a speed round with Louis C.K. All right. Uh, Pats or Giants? I'm from Boston. Pats. All right. Mm. Yeah. That's it on that. <laughs> I know it's a speed round, but I'm I know hoping for a little more than just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't Pats. make good radio. <laughs> what was do you care about the Super Bowl? Yeah, I guess I do. I, li I do like the Patriots. And I like that they cheated and that they're winning. And <laughs> I really like, I actually think an asterisk mm -hmm. is a badge of honor in any sport. I think it's awesome that not only did they win every game of yeah. the season, they cheated. And they, nobody cared. <laughs> no one cared. They didn't get, they didn't, weren't forced to stop playing. I think cheating in sports is fine. Of course. You think so? Yeah. Everyone's doing sports. it, too. It's sports. Especially not... in the NFL. They were all doing what the, the Pats were doing. They just yeah. got caught doing it. And yeah. Then... So what? Good. All right. Enough Cancer. on that. Obama yeah. or Clinton? Uh, I don't know. Really? Yeah, I really don't know. You can go either way on that one? Well, do you I, care? I kind of do, yeah. I, I would think know. you're more of a Democrat. I am more of a Democrat, but I hate Democrats. Why? I'm very, mm. I'm very sort of holding my nose to vote guy because I fart in a voting booth. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, and, um, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Obama, I like Obama. I like him. I like yeah. listening to him. But really, I mean, all, I'm, it's so stupid because my arguments are totally shaped by the propaganda. Because <laughs> I actually will be in the shower thinking, he's very charismatic, but does he have enough experience? And then I go, what am I saying that for? <laughs> Somebody told me to say that. <laughs> yeah. Because you I heard, heard that, that on CNN, somewhere. and now I'm saying it in the shower. I'm a tool of the, <laughs> we're of all, the media. But we're all like that. You read one political book, and then you think yeah. you're an expert. Yeah. You, you could get right on uh, Meet the Press and yeah, discuss exactly. the issues. Because well, uh, you just repeat crap you read in a book. Yep. It's not your opinion. Hillary's a smart Democrat, but uh, <laughs> yeah. she's not likable in her personality. No, Hillary. I can't take Hillary. She really makes me mad. I hate her, but I, yeah. I loved her husband. I really, uh, Bill enjoyed him. <laughs> yes, he'll he'll Bill. be the first lady. That'll be fun. Are you scared? The White House. Are you scared that uh, this country might have a black president? <laughs> no, I'm not scared. What What are you laughing at? <laughs> We've been discussing this for a while on this very program. Yeah, this has been a very. I don't think it'll hurt anybody. Wait, you say no? No, I'm not afraid. Of that it. answer is <laughs> false. Oh, 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 oh,
myself. Louis. Oh, Louis. So what is there to be a? Is there something to be a, afraid of? Well, ask like Anthony. <laughs> ask Anthony. Well, it's not what really afraid. Do you think he'll actually go like, all right, brothers? No, see, go ahead and do whatever you want. Like, see, that's like, why it's making me look bridge. silly by <laughs> yeah. by saying this stuff because everybody thinks uh, I have this impression that he's going to take office. They're going to swear him in the second he's sworn yeah. in. That hand's going to come off the Bible in yeah. a black power sign, yes, exactly. and and everyone's going to know. It's going to be right. one code word. Yep. He's actually uh, going to take the Bible and beat the <laughs> yeah the beat chief up the, with it. <laughs> the chief justice and <laughs> and it's all all hell will break loose. Pandemonium. Yeah. Oh. I don't think that. Yeah. I just think there's a lot of subtleties here. I do. I'm just not here. afraid of it. I'm just, <laughs> you're, just, you're welcome. <laughs> I got good locks on my door. I'm not worried <laughs> Welcome about it. it. Yeah. I, I, I just, uh, I think that the changes will be subtle. There'll be subtle changes <laughs> like based on the fact that uh, a few things. Black mm -hmm. people in general yeah. will now have to deal with the fact that they have... Uh, the opportunity in this country to become president of the United States. Yeah. That's a huge thing right there. It's right. very hard to cry that you uh, have, uh, uh, you're being held back mm -hmm. when the leader of the country is, black. in fact, a black guy. Right. So that, that will affect things. I don't know how, but that's a little, that'll affect things. The other thing is, um, a black guy <laughs> in, in a great. black guy in the White House. <laughs> a, a lot of black people will be like, "Hey, our guy's in there now." Yeah. So now, so now you know, we're gonna get what we're due. <laughs> we're gonna get what we're due. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of pressure on Obama to, uh, you know, placate to make concessions to uh, uh, the black community mm -hmm. at large. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think a, a Congress, especially if a Democratic Congress is in there, will uh, give him a lot more uh, than they've given uh, stupid George Bush, uh, old white guy, um, you know, everything. I don't think so. I think what's going to happen is that everyone's going to realize that, it does, that he's just a guy, that it doesn't matter. I, I think, it, I don't know that he'll be a good president, but mm -hmm. I think black people will be disappointed that you think they didn't get a check in the mail for having a black person? Well, that's another problem. I'm, I'm with you on that. Because there, that well, that's what I was saying. There'll be this they're... expectation yeah, from because... black people, and perhaps that won't yeah. uh, come about. And 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 also, you know, yeah, I don't I, know. I, I just believe the system is in place that one guy can't make that many drastic changes yeah, to the way we the live our lives in America. Yeah. No, and it's like I we've think those about days here. are long gone. We used to have great leaders. That one mm -hmm. guy that really did a lot. And also and change this country. I just don't see that that no. that being possible in the year two thousand eight. Mm -hmm. I think also that there's something that happens to the president when he gets there. We've talked about it here. Oh right, right. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to give you credit because we yeah. went down that road yesterday, and I forgot mm -hmm. who told us. Where they give him the tour of the White House? Yeah, and, they and scare him, the crap out of him. That's in a great, room and sorry, say, here's here's who really killed Kennedy. In yeah, the here's they what spill we, the we, beans. We eat poor people. They're in the food <laughs> or whatever it is. Yeah, and that the next day he's gonna be like, okay, well, let's not be too hasty, you know. But he's not even saying he's gonna do. He's not even like a big, like Ralph Nader is thinking of running because he hates because oh, he thinks Obama's a wimp, right? And, and you know, that Obama's just a status quo uh, jerk. So yeah. that's you know he's not even like it's not Jesse Jackson. If Jesse Jackson was running it, I'd be like, oh, okay. Now there can, might be a problem, but you, you yeah. just see just Obama he's an activist as... and he's nuts mm -hmm. and he, you know, sh he would scare me because like he marches against barbershop, but because he yeah. gets movies, he's an idiot. But see, this is you're but making Obama's my point. Just a, you're making my point. That it's going to be me. an insipid little change. That, that that it's not so much because we know that the president himself really doesn't have this almighty power to do mm. things like that. Right. But it's more, and I said this yesterday. It's more the symbolism yeah. of him in office That's gonna... that will make the impact of amongst black people than it but is the you, reality of him in there. <laughs> So you're afraid of black people having a little a little bit of pride and hope? No, no, they've had <laughs> they, they've had. I think that's gonna make them more dangerous. Oh, true.
<laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. See, you think I that's love... going to make them a little more dangerous? Like, I love when whatever I say, yeah. I, I, you have to put other words in my mouth. Right. Wow. No, that's the fun part. I didn't say that. I'm just saying that there will be this expectation right. amongst black people. That and I think Obama... Better. Is gonna, that stuff will be better. Right. Stuff's great. If he's the president, stuff is as right. good as it's going to well, effing the, get. The easiest. There hasn't been an Asian president mm -hmm. yet. So why aren't the Asians uh, they're, they're next in line to come up and and uh, mm -hmm. and say that they're the downtrodden and uh, the the spit a spat upon? Because they have they're good at math and. Uh, yeah, whatever other stereotype you could dredge yeah. up. It's just. I haven't seen a, a Asian drunk in a long time mm. or a drug addict. No, that's like, true. That's all. But, uh, no, I, the, the thing, the easy way to make fun of you, the thing it sounds like, is that, you know, you're generally intimidated or afraid of black people. You're not, you're uncomfortable around them. I but, have. But it's balanced. Me Patrice. But it's, yeah, well. I have. And I've seen how yeah. you look at them. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a balance that you feel because you know in the big picture mm -hmm. they're losing. <laughs> well, <laughs> so when you're worried about. Getting gas in the middle of the night, and there's some brothers listening to, you know, the hip hop's coming from their car, mm -hmm. and that you look at them and they go, oh, God, and their guy's the president, too. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. <laughs> True. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Damn. Yeah. All right. Hey, can't win this game. <laughs> it's hard, right? Uh, the, we've, we've been going at it for a while. It's, yeah. it's, it makes for some fine uh, fine radio. It's our, it's our election commentary. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's great, though. It's a very honest reaction you're having. I'm, yeah. I, well, you I know what? It's, good. it's It's Whitey's reaction. Been, I'm the voice of Whitey. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> I've been laughing at Anthony, but there's a lot of people that agree with him. I no, mean, because they call every day when, when we hit mm -hmm. this subject. So Look, when you're white. It, it, and a black guy is like waiting on you or something, and he's mm -hmm. being really nice. Yeah, your party is like, yeah, no. The day the tables turn, you're gonna cut my head off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it's my, just gonna be. My politics are really. Take my it. politics are really simple. I mm -hmm. want to see a black president because I want to be alive to see what happens. That's all. Right. Oh, you just want to see. see, I just like, wanna see like, you're just bored. Yeah, I just want to <laughs> like. All right, we got a black president. Oh, now right. I'm gonna take a look and see what that really means. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm like. I'm Why a, not? I'm Instead a of another white guy. No, I'm another a, old white guy. I want I want something different in there. Mm -hmm. I'm totally a spectator. I want to just check it every out. Every time there's a special report on the new, and it hasn't happened in a while, but yeah. every time TV is special report, I'm like, ah, they shot somebody. <laughs> 9-11 again. <laughs> Gonna get some popcorn. <laughs> you like tragedies too, I right? I love watching crazy stuff go down, yeah. And don't you so wish exciting. it? exciting. Uh, I, I, I brought this up a couple weeks ago. Like when you see the wildfires out west. You yeah. want you want to see that just keep spreading and spreading. When yeah. they when they say a uh, hundred homes been destroyed, you're kind of disappointed that it's not two hundred yet. Totally. But th this is no, and you want to see like you know, uh, you know, Ally McBeal or somebody or whatever her name is, Calistra Flockhart, coming out of her house <laughs> on fire, like man, <laughs> man on <laughs> fire, you know, <laughs> the worst or yeah, better, like, but, you know, running on fire and screaming. the worst or better, and that we're not saying totally anything too crazy here. But here's the question I got for you: When mm. do you really want it to stop? Like in my in my head, I like seeing wildfires, or whatever, just keep expanding, expanding, expanding. When does it get to the point where you're like, okay, all right, no, stop. My, we gotta we gotta put easy. this fire out. When my, it gets too my close house. To your house. That's <laughs> easy. My house is exactly the line. You know when you my see those neighbors, <laughs> yeah, screw them. You know what? My yard even. Hurricane <laughs> Katrina was a tragedy, but when that thing started mm. spinning toward New Orleans, eh? Yeah. You were kind of going, "This is going to get interesting if it hits New Orleans," of and course. I kind of want to see what that means. People like action movies, right? Right. And as long as it doesn't involve you, if you're watching it on the news, it's just an action movie. Well, that's what it is. You don't yeah. know the people. Well, like the day before K Katrina, when the they were saying, I mean, there was it was so clear. <laughs> I've never yeah. I've never heard such an accurate. Weather report in my life. Oh, right <laughs> on. Said, this is going to happen. And I remember they said, everyone's just going to go to the Superdome or whatever it is. Yeah. And I thought, that's crazy. <laughs> Those people are all going to die. I'm not doing nothing tomorrow but watching TV. <laughs> it was like an ad for here, you know, oh, yeah. good, that's on tomorrow. Speaking of tragedies, Britney Spears. Yeah. Do you care? Are you watching? No, I, I mean, she's just one her? of millions of people who, in America whose lives are uh, disgusting <laughs> to look at. <laughs> she's a very average American girl for her age. Are you hoping she gets better? I have no care? hope or care. No, there's no feelings. You, just I look nothing at her. there. I have definitely masturbated. Is that going to get bleeped? I don't know. Uh, probably. Here. Okay. I have definitely uh, done things to my person. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. While looking upon her in the past, right, 
And I kind of like all versions of her. Like, I definitely did wrongful right. uh, <laughs> fantasizing about her when... She was a little when she was little Britney, not not not, not, not little Disney. little Mickey Mouse, not Club Mickey Britney, Mouse Britney, Club. But yeah, when she was uh, being portrayed as the you know, virginal oh, baby, baby, I was like, yeah, 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 thank you. Put on those sweatpants, yeah. And then, uh, but then when she became pregnant, Britney pumping gas into her SUV, I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> I, I definitely do have a th- weird thing about her that all the just tragic versions of her are very sexy to me, right. Okay. And I like I like Fat Britney. You do I like oh, it. Yeah, turns me on. <laughs> All right, and now uh, she's Louis. dirty. She's a dirty girl. But I don't care if she died tomorrow. I would there would be no feelings inside of my body. I would just go, oh, that she's dead now. All right. And one other thing before I guess we... no new pictures to. Yeah. <laughs> one other thing before we go to break. Yeah. Go over there and uh, and turn on that computer screen. Grab that mic, and I want to get a natural reaction from you. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Could. It could be horrific. Yeah, this is All like right. it could be really good. It could be All really right. bad. I want to just get your you live through reaction. Right. Two girls, one cup. Believe me, it's... Uh, it, just Jimmy's mic, uh, Iraq. Just grab Jimmy's mic, or yours. Yeah. or yours. Okay, turn on that computer screen. Show more to turn it on. Okay, and just get and just uh, I just want a natural reaction to what you see on this computer screen. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh man, what's in her thing? What? Wait a minute. No. No. <laughs> no. No. I'm not seeing anything. What am I supposed to be seeing? All right, you're gay. Uh, <laughs> no, you're just actually you're just supposed to be seeing that. Be it's turned just kind of. Well, it's kind of gross. It's just so, <laughs> the lighting, the lighting is so awful, and there's plastic everywhere, and she looks scared. Well, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a, the right last frame of a snuff film before That's the snuff the part. She looks like she's about to get murdered. Do you like Huey Lewis in the news? <laughs> there's some weird whipped cream on her on her wrist. Yes, yes. Um, it doesn't turn me on. All right, don't don't describe it too much because that's where we'll have a problem with the show. But yeah. We were th- we were thinking you'd have a different reaction. What did you think I would react like? Holy Man. mother of f! Really? That's I mean, but that's f. just the, that f. isn't the best picture. Some, I'll tell you that right there. That isn't the best you... picture. No, I don't care about that. No. All right. Well, the picture is up. I could walk by, by that and give it a nod and go. Hey, it was how's part it going? of a, a bit we did yesterday called Cherry Darts. Uh huh. And if you go to the website that's named after this radio show, you can see the pictures and the videos. We we thought we'd get a little. The thing bit... is, you know what? It, why it doesn't. That's if I had never seen the internet. I mean, that's a picture of some girl's ass yeah, on, yeah. on the computer screen. Right. It's like a dollar mm-hmm. bill. It's just. So <laughs> you know why? That's that's go, that's oh. pretty graphic. There yeah. are pictures that are just of her standing there. That yeah, I thought that had, blow I that thought, picture wait, away. Back, can you get rid of that window that you just put there for a second? I thought that that was. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. I first, like, mm. like okay. somebody had, right. had stuffed some oh, you. And, yeah, But you know something <laughs> with our with like our that. track record, you should <laughs> expect that. That's exactly. So. It. Well, that's what you're showing. It's Opie and Anthony. You're showing me a picture of a girl. I'm like, where's the poo? No, it was just a what I, part I, of her did you it shove was, poo in? All right, all right. Enough with the poo. Sorry, they're dumping out. We, we sound like we're underwater now. Okay. <laughs> uh yeah, I don't know. We just wanted you to see a picture of a naked girl, and we okay. thought you'd be like. I guess I was supposed to be like a guy in the forties. How about say, that picture? Hubba hubba. How about that picture? <laughs> hubba now, hubba. The punky girl with the boots. Yeah, that's she's awesome. Except for her uh, boobs are. All right, just a little keep it depressing. at that. A little depressing. Yeah. <laughs> the fat woman next to her is definitely fat. I would say. Yeah. yeah. And then the girl in the end, I like because she looks embarrassed. Yeah. And, uh, uh, that's a turn. Wow, you you kind of call these pretty pretty well. Yeah. And the other one looks very poor. No, now she's great. Now she looks great. Yes. Yeah. See. Yeah. Now, see that turns me on. When the, she's all splayed open, I just don't like, <laughs> what, I don't like right, that right. kind of porn where it's like, look at this. Right. <laughs> this you it goes in here. You are <laughs> absolutely right. I'd rather just look at a picture of. A, a nude girl. Yeah, look. Then, girl then in... somebody flipping around in some position yeah. where you're seeing everything like that. That's the thing. A girl like in jeans and a bra. Like I, I could use a picture like that for days without well, getting bored of it. Slow down. I mean, if it's you want the right a girl. parka and a nun habit on them. What do you? Uh, how about how about some nudity there? Hey, you want <laughs> we... something for the imagination. Like a little, right. so, a little See, something that's better. Now I like her even more. She's got the bra and panties on. Right. 
Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to take a break. Louis C.K. Uh, in the house. And uh, we uh, we look at uh, our first uh, black. Uh, are we calling them heroes? Our yes. First uh, black what? Or black history? They, they are black heroes. They're 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 people in uh, uh, history. All walks of life. Yes, that um, we are paying tribute to. That might not be the same people because every year Black History Month. All right, we understand George Washington Carver. Yeah. Please, yeah, enough Malcolm about X. George Washington Carver. Malcolm X. Yeah, yeah. Our he Luther doesn't get trotted out much, does he, Malcolm X? Oh, my yeah, God. They yeah. all do. But we occasionally. We, we want to pay tribute to some uh, uh, black people uh, that aren't getting the recognition in heaven over the years that they should be. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And we're, yet they're heroes. Yeah, and yes. we're going to challenge the staff. They're going to come up with one every day Yep. in the month of February. We got the first one. Because we pay tribute. That's right. We got the first one after the break. Okay. All right. And Jimmy, uh, back with the program. It's Opie and Anthony. Oh, and uh, ramming it. We play ramming it after how, the break. How was your other show, slut? It was. Uh, <laughs> it was fun. It's weird to listen to what you can say. Oh. And uh, it was good. I'm. I'm. My, the energy was great. Mulroney was in, who I love, and mm -hmm. the Wolf in uh, Albany. And my my. I was decent at best. <laughs> decent at best. I do 25 hours of radio a week, and I'm on the phone. And I'm just become a deaf mute. Like I just, I'm, I'm not effective on the telephone. I do that when I call in on a radio show. Like I call in Ron and Fez, and and I wait, and I'm all nervous, and then I hear the, yeah. you're on yeah. the air, and I yeah. go like, ha, ha. Yeah. I'm all nervous, and I got butterflies, and I sit here and go, I've had a show for for years. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I nervous? I, on this no, side, on this side, you got the upper hand. Oh, totally. You just have yeah, to but I know Ronnie's not going to try to throw me under the bus, you know. But still, I get all like... He rolls his eyes, though. He rolls his eyes. You're on the phone with him, and he's rolling his eyes. I've been there. I've rolls seen his it. eyes. No, I was on the phone with some radio station in Florida, and it was one of those things where they, they come on, and there's everybody's laughing, and I'm just stepping in the middle. I don't know what they've been doing. Yeah. And the guy's like, hey, hey, hey we got Louis C.K. What about you? What do you think of uh, whatever it was that day? Britney Spears or whatever, and I was like... Uh, <laughs> not, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and really, they were uh, like, ooh, and I could feel yeah. them immediately. And then and the guy actually said, oh, I think we got a helicopter is chasing a, a, a car. He's chasing a car, so we're going to go. And they uh, hung up on me. Oh, no, for a helicopter and chasing a car on the radio. And I know the instant they hung up, Miami radio, they're just crapping all over me. Yeah. Because yeah. I said nothing. That guy sucks. You just had nothing <laughs> on that funny. subject. I would show. We can continue this uh, after the break. Opie and Anthony. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show, Louis C.K. Uh, in studio today. Louis, what are you promoting? Well, I was going to promote that I'm uh, shooting my new comedy special in Boston, March what? 1st. What happened? Uh, Berkeley Performance Center. I sold out. Like, and we didn't even advertise, but we're we're pretty much sold out both shows. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. That but what? I am going to be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, February 14th in Buffalo at Center of the Arts. And I'm in Cleveland on February 15th at the Playhouse Square. And that's Detroit sold out. So, Oh, I'm in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. I don't know when, at some point. What place? I don't know what place. Somewhere in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. There can't be that many places in the world. You got a website for go these there. dates? Pretty much. Just go outside and see where people are walking towards. Yeah. And that's where <laughs> I'm playing. Is, this is all on the, the website, date. right? Yeah, it's on my website, lewisck.com. But right. I I think we might add a show in Boston just for people that didn't get tickets because we sold out in like a, a two days. That's really cool. Yeah, I was Run really I was surprised. Thank you. All right, it's uh, Black History Month, and we're going to do something a little different. That's why the cool music. I don't even know who does this. Who is this? Mayfield? Yeah. Yeah? Old took a light to the head on stage, Mayfield. I mean, he died <laughs> paralyzed, I believe. He got hit in the head with a light. Yeah, he hung in there for a while, didn't he? And then, and then the paralysis guy. finally got to him. Oh, hey, I wanted to say something, by the way, to what? your guy. This guy whose name I hear all the time, Coke Logic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wanted to thank him because I actually went, when I, we went on sale, I wanted to make sure that some Opie and Anthony fans were able to go. And uh, I wrote, I went to the Whack Bag yeah. to uh, post it because I, I opened an account there once and I couldn't post. It was So I wrote to the administration guy and said, can I post this? And nobody answered. 
I was like yelling in all caps. I was writing saying something. Oh no! <laughs> Help so me I, out here. <laughs> so I wrote Coke Logic and I said, and he, and, and he posted it. For oh me. great! And so Simone A fans got the tickets. That's good. He's I a hope trooper. They got tickets. All right. Um. So for Black History Month, we're you know anyone could talk about Malcolm X and Martin Luther King right. and uh, who else? The guy, the uh, Nelson the Mandela. Guy, Nelson <clears throat> Mandela. The dude in Tiananmen Square that stood in front of the tank. That uh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. They uh they you know they get uh. They get talked about a lot in February mm. for Black History Month. So we, we want to, like, uh, look at other people. Also famous mm. heroes, but I think they're not enough recognition. There you go. From all walks of life. So it, this is the beginning of the bit. It's going to get tough because uh, we challenge the guys in the office. Oh, come, yeah. Come up with one of these guys every day for the month of February. Here's the first one. In honor of Black History Month, the Opie and Anthony Show is honoring black heroes, African-American individuals throughout history, without whom this country would not be the melting pot it is today. Today we honor Bub Rub, who installs Whistler tips to vehicles in a muffler shop in Oakland. The whistles go woo! Well, you want to woo-woo? It's that woo-woo! You know what I'm saying? The neighbors are saying way too loud. That's only in the morning. He's supposed to be up cooking breakfast or somebody, and so that's like an alarm clock. Woo, 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 woo. Yes, Bub Rub, we say woo woo to you too. Woo woo. Stay tuned for more icons of Black History on the Opie and Anthony Show. That's how we're, uh, yeah, there's Bub Rub, man. That's nice because it's recent black history, too. Well, yeah. I, we should get the news story because it, it was great. The guy came up with a way to just make a lot of noise <laughs> while you're driving your car. Which is odd because black cars are usually very quiet. <laughs> the windows usually rolled up with soft music <laughs> wafting out. As a general rule, that's what I have, have noticed, too. What What is this thing, by the way? It's a whistle that goes into what? The exhaust? or This thing is, yeah, it's a little whistle thing. Yeah, let's a little round that. device. You shove it in the tailpipe. Mm -hmm. And when you hit the gas, it makes this high-pitched <laughs> whistle that you just can't even deal with <laughs> so it, it's it, it's just it's nothing more than to be obnoxious <laughs> it's the dumbest thing. it's horrid here's the news report on it nearly every muffler shop in oakland is installing whistler tips it's a piece of metal welded inside the exhaust pipes that makes the car audible for almost a mile almost a mile tell me about the whistles the whistles go woo <laughs> it sounds <laughs> like of course they do well you want to woo woo <laughs> it's that woo woo you know what I'm saying? Then you got the flows. They didn't trip off the flow masses. And that decoration, man. It's just yeah. for decoration. That's, that's it. it and that's all, man. Decoration? All, man. Decoration doesn't uh, make a, a high-pitched no. squeal that you can hear a mile away. It's Get like a, a, a bomb is dropping. <laughs> Get ready. There's going to be one on Air Force One. Oh, oh damn! Be one on Air no, Force you one. didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Gonna put whistler tips on the motorcade. Damn, you did. And punt. Ah, of course, you got a punt <laughs> after that. You dope from Cleveland. Forgot your name already. And here's more from uh, the story. Roxanne Bruns says the high-pitched tone, like the squeal of a bark train that doesn't stop, is keeping her awake at night. Police have told her it is legal. Some neighbors are saying way too loud. That's only in the morning. He's supposed to be up cooking breakfast or somebody, and so that's like an alarm clock. Woo woo! <laughs> Uh, that guy's awesome. Uh, you're supposed to be That's up. Only in really? The morning. Oh yeah. That's only in the morning. <laughs> That's only disturbing in the morning. Yeah. So uh, I look forward to who we uh, who we look at on Monday. This is going to be a good bit. That's amazing. We're thinking are sticks that. from Happy Days. How is that not mm. illegal though? I know. That's crazy. Oh, because sure for, first of all, it's like, it, but they said it isn't. That's crazy. It would make you stop Last, at an intersection thinking maybe yeah. in an emergency vehicle is coming. Glass-packed mufflers are illegal. Yeah. I what mean, are they called? Loud. Glass-packed, because they have fiberglass in them. The ones that are, like, crackly when you hear yeah. a card is going, <laughs> they put them when, in a lot of muscles. You go, a lot of the God, 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 God. <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> yeah. That's illegal. It's called glass-packed. They're mufflers that were made badly with fiberglass, and people found out how loud they were, so then they started flying off the shelves. Why do mm. people want loud mufflers? Because they get to make that noise when they drive it's around. Cool. It's cool. It's cool. When you, you gas it, and then when you let off the gas, it sounds like the car's ready to explode. Oh. <laughs> exactly. See, I'm thinking like a guy who creeps around the corner, 
like go trying to talk to uh you know girls in person. Right, you're, you're, oh, you want you want it uh, very silent. Very you quiet. Quiet. You want fast automatic windows. <laughs> yes. You need an electric car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just rolls away. Scott from Hawpaw, great observation. The whistle tips, uh, they're only loud in the morning. Does it get quiet in the afternoon, this I thing? Yes, they do. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, finally, we got to play the, another horrible NFL rap song. This was for the L.A. Rams. This is uh, this one is oh, unbelievable. God. But these are throughout history, right? Yeah, Those sure. Are, uh, Break.com did kind of like the top. Uh, five or six God. worst rap NFL songs uh. of all time, and I think this one is pretty much the worst ever. Mm. <sighs> the LA Rams. Just hold on to your hold uh. on to your seat if you feel like you're gonna <laughs> keel over. Did this song called "Ramming It"? Ramming it. Hold on a minute. Oh, God. Oh, hold like on. Dancing. God. What were they going for there? Do you know how to ram it? Um, whip it, right? I don't know. Uh, oh, no, know. ram it. I just think they were going. No, that for sounds it. like what uh, the one of the village people song. Yeah, body. Do you yes. feel you my body? body? Tying in well with the lyrics. Da, 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 da. Ram it. Do you know how to ram? It? Oh, the video is great. They're ramming their arms forward. It's very Eddie Murphy-ish music. Oh, yeah. You know, party all the time. Very, very 80s Eddie Murphy. <laughs> this is the sequence where the main character is starting to make it. <laughs> yeah. He's drinking champagne in clubs and wearing silk shirts. It's the upswing montage. Yep. Yeah. Ram it. Somebody's counting money. They're giving each other the thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. Money's going through one of those counters. <laughs> Somebody's buying a Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> ram it. Ram it. Same thing. Ram it. Ram it. Ram it. And ram it. Well, Kevin from Connecticut, he just threw his arms in the air like he just don't care. So, uh, that's right. Uh, that's right. It's getting the job done out there. It's a nice song. Fun song. So bad. Oh, they're all dancing in their Rams uniforms. That clappy. Yeah, oh, a lot of clapping. Again, I'm starting this off. The Rams get down so nobody scores. And don't you worry, cause the Rams are rapping. When game time comes, we're about to die. We can't sing and our dance is not pretty. But we'll do our best for the team and the city. So get on your feet and clap your hands. Let's uh. run right now with the L.A. Rams. Hollywood handsome, Dodge City tough. If you throw it my way, it's going to get rough. I like to ram it, as you can see. No oh, the way you can. any more than me. He I mean, looks like, uh, what's his name from the Bee Gees? The thing that's <laughs> like, awful about watching the video, because yeah. they're just in the empty stadium, yeah. <laughs> is that you just picture that shoot day. Like, oh, God. everybody has to have a team, you know, meeting with. Yeah. Everyone has to be here Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Oh, what for? Uh, We're shooting the Ram at video. It's uh, mandatory that you show up. Uh, I ain't right. going to that, man. I ain't going to that. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> I ain't. Ugh. And then they stood around and <laughs> it took forever. You know, can we do that again? Oh, really? No. Yeah, no. That yeah exactly. <laughs> no. That last line was creepy. I like to ram it, as you can see. Nobody as, likes yeah. ramming more than me. Mm. Yeah, well, it uh, terrific rhymes. Well, it's gonna get rough. I like to ram it, as you can see. Nobody likes ramming any more than me. They call me Jeter. Nobody dresses sweeter. But under this cool, there's a quarterback with Streeter. I come from the end, looking for the sack. I don't stop coming till I put him on the back. This is limousine with him. Ramming it, looking for the sack. And this was written, this is written by a white person, too. Of course Gotta it was. This yeah. is rap written by, white rap. That guy looks by like... a, a Jewish, an old Jewish couple. That guy looks like CJ from A Soldier Story. Look at Look at Hey, get you. <laughs> oh, Didn't he hang himself? Yeah. I don't want to sing Ram and Sauce. I I put him on the back. This limousine with him. My moves are like crazy. They call me the demon on special team. I know how to rock from the toes to the head. When I pull the trigger, I'll knock you dead. I'm a mountain man from West VA. They call me Herc and I came to play. I learned long ago to ram it just right. You can ram it all day and ram it all night. 
Oh. Now, I don't oh, really know oh, much no. about I, what year of the Rams was oh, this? Boy. I, 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 uh, what year? I'm going to guess 82 or 82. I don't think those are the stars doing oh. the big number. The big Ram it number? I, I don't think they got the stars. That guy who's just said, I'm a devil on special teams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the record, Wait a minute. <laughs> you know, like, that doesn't sound like he's not like an all, all star. You know, he's not a. Uh, all, all pro running back. <laughs> well, I drive the bus that carries the team. <laughs> okay. yeah. And I'm on the bench in case he gets hurt. <laughs> oh, it's very gay. All right, this part Let's where they're singing it. the hook, ram it. They're all like bent over. They're all bent over, holding on to a rail, yeah, and they're going gay. down the line, showing all the players, <laughs> shaking their shoulders, and they're shaking their shoulders, shoulders and they're wiggling. Obviously, uh, their hips. They want to ram it. They are into the ram. Was this the St. Louis or the L.A. Rams? L.A., I, of course. Yeah, that's right. I, ram it. No, that's very. It's, that's very L.A. football. Yeah. L.A. doesn't deserve a football team. No, every play. time that I go to L.A. to like a. Daddy Hill, take a look at my stock. I catch what they told me and I like the block. I'm quick off the line as I can be, cause I don't want big running over me. This is baby place, oh, no. I don't yield. I'm a Texan fool on the football field. From the Jersey Shore to Baboa Bay. If you run at me, you'll have a bad day. Pigs are being a mullet. Fastest man in the whole damn town. Cars and ladies are part of my creed, but more than that, I feel the need for speed. This is Tetra, out to make a one. With shades on, I can catch a DB in the dark. So now you're ready, and I'm sure you'll agree. The ramming is fun when you're ramming with me. Uh, uh, it's very wow. gay. Uh, every time I'm so in L.A., bad. every time I'm in, I've been at any social gathering in L.A., every, every man in L.A. is gay. They're just all <laughs> gay, and they but they all come from some town and they try to talk football at parties. Like, oh yeah, it's the Green Bay is awesome this year. <laughs> like they try to sound like they know about their team, but they're just all every man is effeminate and soft, fruity, fruity. Homosexual would be another word. A bunch of <laughs> delicate flowers for yes. the big decisions. Yeah. Delicate flowers. <laughs> you'll agree. The ramen is fun when you ramen with me. That's only half the song, by the way. Yeah. Do we oh. continue? No. No. Okay, good. Hey, I have a request. Yeah. You have a 30 seconds to ask you to, for something? Yeah. I forgot about this. This is kind of perfect for you guys to enjoy. I, one time I was here, and I needed somebody to run my daughter's backpack to her school. Right, yeah. Is yeah. there somebody who could run another errand for me? What I have in my pocket. What do you have? Not, I, I hope it's no, drugs. It's better than drugs. What is it? I have three vials of my daughter's poop. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus that Christ. Need, that need to go to her pediatrician this morning. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's got God, his... I literally have three tubes. They are vials in, in plastic uh, yes. baggies. Six-year-old six wow. poop. Can I see them? I predict yes. a very unsuccessful yeah, store, Luke. Don't open it because uh, uh, you'll open contaminate. Open oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Child's poop. Oh, my it's <laughs> Really? Is she sick or is that just standard? Wow. Oh, I, we just do it for fun. We just like to, find <laughs> it. Just like to get a breakdown, you know? Just How to... did you... And you got to be careful because, you know, I, I want this on the radio. How did you collect this? <laughs> yeah, how did... Oh, well, um, there's very detailed instructions inside. Yeah, of but ah. see, what I'm looking at, it, yeah. uh, how do you? How did you collect it? Oh, no, no, it? Don't, not, no, that's not it, all that's in here. See, it, it comes oh, okay. with a little, it has this little, each vial comes with this little red liquid. A yeah, solution in there. A solution oh, okay. in okay. there. Yeah, right. And I it comes, you. and on the top, each top, if you unscrew it, which I yeah. can't now because it'll get contaminated, yeah. there's a little scoop. It's like a tiny spork. Okay. Oh. It's a little spoon with right, spikes on it. I got you. It should come with a yogurt. Yes, and so you, exactly, and so you, you, uh, because when you showed me, it looked like you couldn't use a strainer. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no it's. Uh, but it was good, solid. And well, one one of her one of the poops that I did was nice, solid, not too offensive. 
just scooped it in there and shook it up. Yeah. But then the next one was soft and it was a drag. Yeah. And, and she was yeah. wa- she's standing there watching me do it. Oh, that's embarrassing. And I'm like, that you could have done a nicer poop than that that I have to now. Scoop. Well, you got to do it like if you got like it's part of I guess testing for kids, right? You have to uh Occasionally you got to do this. Yeah. yeah. No, she's got weird she has, she, I heard the doctor said I I'd like some samples. I'd yeah. like some samples. All right. We'll uh, we'll give that to one of our doctors, guys. Yeah, doctors <laughs> might just be weird. <laughs> I'd really like God knows a stool going. sample from your daughter. Yes, please. It would really be helpful in determining the cause <laughs> of her headaches. <laughs> <laughs> we'll run it over to the the doc for you. One okay. girl, three vials. <laughs> yeah, yuck. Just don't ask your guy not to brush his teeth with it or whatever. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, whatever nah. kind of stunt he yeah. wants to do. Well, that guy would be right there. Yeah, there he is. Our Amish Hi, friend, Duffy. Okay, hey, uh, before we go to break, we got um, um, some audio that's just hitting the net. I think it's a bit old, but it's it's still really good. Uh, Chris Berman just losing his mind, I think, I, I believe, during a commercial. <laughs> and they were rolling tape, and some guy that didn't really like him too much decided uh, everybody needed to hear this. Chris Berman, everyone. When I'm doing TV and I got 18, God damn it, can't everybody stop for 10 minutes? I mean, everybody seems that that's the only, everybody can we stick, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's not that much to ask. Is that when everybody has to move when I'm trying to concentrate? Jesus. And these guys thought I was a pain. I mean, that's so rude. I can't believe it. That's it's so goddamn rude. <laughs> Why does everyone all of a sudden have to move? I've had two <laughs> hours to move around. Wait ten minutes. Jesus. I'm sorry to explode by that, but that's it's like no one's ever worked on TV here before. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Dunking under the kill. What the f do they think I'm doing? <laughs> I, I really, I actually can't believe what I just saw. Not now. It's like no one here has worked on TV before. <laughs> I hear a dial tone. And there were seven people, though. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we need to use the studio for 15 15- just everybody, you know. <laughs> there you go. Oh, <laughs> sounds like he's never worked in TV before. I love when people just lose their minds <laughs> it like is that. Great, it's, and it's yeah. caught on tape. Good for him. Fantastic. That'll be on OnlyRadio.com later Good today. All right, we got to take a break. More with Louis C.K. It's Opie and Anthony. Mm-hmm. Heading into a speed round here, the Opie and Anthony Show. Going to play. What did we learn on the Opie and Anthony Show today? Really smart. Why is Louis smart? I don't know. <laughs> Why? He just is. In what way? Every way. Except really? For, for, except for happiness. He's awful at that. <laughs> He's pretty happy. He looks happier. Other people's. Something's yeah. going on with him. He looks happier I know. these days. What's going on with hmm. me? I lost weight. Hmm. You lost weight? I, I can lost see it on Louis. Weight. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to a boxing trainer again, and uh, oh, I hope some, I, I hope I, I young Puerto Rican man. Think Clint Eastwood movie. <laughs> <laughs> I hope six months from now you're biting your own tongue in the hospital. <laughs> I hated that movie. Impressive. <laughs> Phone number eight seven seven two one two zero one eight. That's the worst movie I ever saw. Oh okay. no! I'll be frank. No, I guess not. You're exaggerating. It was bad though. You're right. It wasn't great. No. I've had enough of Clint Eastwood's acting. I love him. But yeah, he's old and gravelly. Yeah. We Stop can. it. Take a seat. Yeah. Just direct. What was the worst movie you ever saw? Give us a go. <laughs> uh, we got this fine story, though. You've probably heard of drunk dialing, but wait until you hear who this Wisconsin woman called. Pat Close. Dykstra called 911 from her cell while driving, then hung up. When police called her back, she told them her boyfriend thought she shouldn't be driving because she was drunk. <laughs> I know somebody could follow me home because somebody thinks... Seems to think I can't drive home straight. Okay, why is that? Oh, he seems to think I'm too intoxicated to drive. Okay, and so you called 911 or he called 911? Well, he wanted me to call 911 because he thinks I'm too drunk to drive. It happened after the couple left a Dodge County bar early Sunday. Dykstra says she got behind the wheel because her boyfriend was too drunk to drive. I don't like being on the phone while I'm driving. But... Okay. Well, I can certainly let you go, Pat. I don't want to cause you to... I would appreciate that because I don't like driving on the phone. Mm. <laughs> and wait, that's the whole thing? She, uh... No, there's a little more. Oh, did she get arrested? Ah, uh, well... What happened, Opie? Well, we'll tell you Monday. Dykstra <laughs> <laughs> gave a description of her vehicle, which police traced to her Fox Lake home. 
There, they found Dykstra getting ready for bed. I was home already and in my pajamas going to bed. Dykstra then failed the sobriety test and got a $740 OWI ticket and a mark on her driving record. I think a judge will look at her and say, you know, you stepped up to the plate, you did the right thing. I think it's commendable. Does she regret calling the police? It's good in a way, but if I'd have thought about it, it wasn't good for my driving record. <laughs> You know what, man? I don't know how they can give yeah. her that ticket because technically they can't prove where she was when she made the call. Hmm. She could have been in her driveway. She could have been a passenger. Yeah. yeah. She could have been a passenger uh, and a just been drunk. It's a confession. Uh, yeah, but this, it, again, they can't prove that it was an accurate confession because she confessed while she was doing it, but they can't prove where the car was. She True. confessed, but she was under the influence, so the confession's tainted. Right. She could just she say was, she got a ride home from a friend. Because she was driving drunk while she was <laughs> <laughs> confessing. Uh, my brother uh, once. But why did they? When, get, why did they say she did the right thing? I didn't understand. Calling. By calling, that's not the right thing. That's the drunk thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but drunks uh, always like every time I've been in traffic court. Drunks, people just love dr courts. Love drunks. Yeah, because they want them yeah. to get better <laughs> for some reason. So yeah. like I go and uh, you know I drove with a suspended license, so I got mm -hmm. arrested. And the judge was like, you know, your record is reprehensible. You show no remorse. You do nothing but repeat your offenses, and I'm going to go the limit with this. Then the next guy is like, this guy threw a rock through a window, literally, and set a fire, and then passed out in the street. <laughs> and he goes, are you in a program, young man? He goes, yes, sir, I am. I'm in, okay, good for you. Good luck. <laughs> I wish you all the luck in the world. <laughs> all the in luck. In the world. All the luck in the world. In the world. I want everyone else to have bad luck so that you can have good luck, you stupid drunk from Mansfield, <laughs> Mansfield, <I'm> Mansfield. Massachusetts. <laughs> Just... Uh, Joe had a, a little run-in years ago. Years ago, Joe wasn't able to get a, a license, registration, insurance, anything. He was like in that That's that me. realm of your your life when that you go category. through that. That's me right now. Uh, so at the time, especially, the Reggies were a lot different on the uh, windshield. It was just the sticker. Mm. So he drew one. He he. <laughs> <laughs> Looked at one, got some colored construction paper, and drew the lines of the ruler. It used to just be like a grid with some holes that you, they punched in it on the mm -hmm. date. Almost like your inspection sticker still looks here in New York. Mm -hmm. And he drew it up, taped it to the windshield, and unless you were right on top of it, it looked perfect. Wow. Couldn't even tell. So his car breaks down on the parkway, and uh, he's underneath the car. And um, a cop comes up yeah. and starts talking. So... Uh, Joe's like, uh, let me get my stuff out of the car. So he goes to go into the car, and the cop's kind of still looking at his tire, I think, mm -hmm. bent or something like that. So Joe just scrapes the crap right off the windshield so the cop couldn't see it. And he goes, where's your registration everything? He goes, oh, no, I don't have one. And he wrote him up for everything. Joe goes to court and just says, I wasn't driving because my car right. was broken down on the side of the parkway. Right. And it didn't matter how it got there or anything cuz you could say I was trailering it, I was towing it. Yep. It was anything. so he got he got away without anything. That's amazing. And there he was driving with this forged f government document Jesus. and <laughs> I got arrested once at the Holland Tunnel because I, this is how bad I was. I had my license was revoked. <laughs> Not suspended, but revoked. <laughs> that's that's bad. And I had, uh, you know, crazy amounts of warrants, open warrants. And um, the car I was driving had the plates from a different car. Oh, that's never uh, good. The cops and, don't like that. No, and the plates were bad anyway. So, I mean, the, in other words, the car that they came from uh, had the, expired. The plates were expired and from another car. But for anyone that doubted, and... Louis was Mexican. <laughs> 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 and I was coming through the Holland Tunnel, and I had no money. That's where it all started. That I pulled, up, I came up to. I was one of those things where I pulled up to the toll booth and said, uh, "Hi, I have no money. What, what do you do? You know, how do we do this?" <laughs> and the guy said, "Just give me your license, and I'll fill out a thing." And I go, I don't, "It's not on me." And he goes, "Give me your registration." I go, "I don't have that either." He says, "Give me your name and your <laughs> social security number." You just said how smart this guy is. Jimmy. Yeah, exactly. This isn't a smart thing. No, you're right. And then I. <laughs> Uh, he made me pull over, and I went to jail. First, he put me in a jail cell that's under the Holland Tunnel uh, toll booths. There's a jail cell. There there. is? Yeah, he took me down some stairs. Hey, you got to see something most people don't get to that's see. right. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're a scofflaw, not yes. a criminal. <laughs> exactly. And I slept the night. I actually spent the night. I just slept in a little jail cell down there. And then they transferred me to Weehawken 
uh, county jail, and that was the worst thing that ever happened to me. In my was that one under a photo mat? <laughs> that was, was well, that we is a really bad. It's a really bad jail. It's really is it really? Bad. Yeah. Why? You wouldn't. Have, I would not have thought that at all. It's terrible. People are throwing food out the windows all the time because of the food. I mean, the, I almost puked just taking a bite out of a sandwich there. Was <sighs> it violent there? Frightening? Yeah, it was really scary. <laughs> it's really bad. We hawking. Who would have guessed? Yeah, it's really bad. They it's not. Value? It's mostly New York. Drug addicts that get taken it like because the New York jails overflow mm -hmm. yeah. and they start letting the Port Authority arrest people so that they can take them to New Jersey because Port Authority oh, wow. is New York, New Jersey. So, Oof. How long yeah. are we in for? Uh, like uh, oh, like a day and a half. I was in, you know, like for a morning, afternoon, night, and the whole next day. It was horrible. It That's a up. long time. Well, they, and for... when I got there, I was in a holding cell, and the guy, one of the guys in the holding Nothing. cell, said to me. Don't let them take you out of this cell because you'll never be heard from again. You'll get if you get moved to a permanent cell, they'll never find you. They lose people because it's a bad bureaucracy. And everybody <laughs> oh, in this no. cell agreed. They'll don't leave this cell. And some guy, a cop, would come once in a while and say, "We got to move you." And I'd go, "No." He said, "Just say no." I'm like, "How do you just say no to?" Yeah, and I go, "No, I'm not moving." And he goes, "Come on, we're moving you to permanent cell." And I go, "I'm not leaving here." And he goes, "Ah, pff, all right." <laughs> <laughs> that kept that? happening. I just kept refusing to leave. How do you cell. refuse? <laughs> to say no. Wow, I didn't know that was an option. Yeah, no. let me out. It's really. I bad. don't belong here. No, and the worst part <laughs> was that there was a toilet just in the middle of the floor of the whole place, like in the middle of the room. Yeah, you would just have to sit you just there. Have and... to sit there and sh sh uh, yeah. yeah. There's Oops. no close. There's no privacy I I got or anything. Even I didn't no, say it didn't. It. Well, no, you nah. could, I think you stopped it. No, so wait, stopped they, it. did you get moved to a permanent cell? You'd be there for I, a week, baby. The basically, and, and I mean, I was because I made bail before I even arrived. Because I called, uh, I used the phone in the in the. In the Holland Tunnel cell, <laughs> and I I made bail right away, but it took uh, two days for the bail to That's right find away. me. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's amazing. man, yeah, it's bad. How much the was prison bail? System is bad. Oh, I mean, I had to pay. Yeah, it was like, like nothing. No, it was a lot. It was really? like six hundred dollars or something. I mean, for me, that was a lot then. Now, yeah. now I would. Be like I'll pay six million dollars to get out of here. I don't have that kind of money. Figure we could take care of it right here in Brainerd. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> give him that one. Exactly. <laughs> Right here in Brainerd. I just want to be in full compliance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Iraq. Yes. Yes, because that oh, helps Fargo the song. They want more uh, <laughs> stuff behind yeah. our bits. So there you go. Uh, listen to this. It was sitting on that cement right there. For about a year, Jean Mansell has cherished her cement Jesus statue, an heirloom from her late uncle. There was footprints behind it and footprints in front of it. But Thursday morning, Jean walked outside only to find that Jesus was gone. My husband got a phone call. <laughs> Come on. Do you really have to put it that way? Yeah. That newscaster, he yeah, went, there's just to the find one. that Jesus, Jesus was, yeah. gone. was gone. He didn't say Jesus statue. No. Jesus her was, gift gone. was gone. Her was gone. To find that Jesus, Jesus was gone. gone. <laughs> Was cool. that Jesus was gone. My husband got a phone call in a real grassy <laughs> voice over the phone saying, check your mailbox. In the mailbox, a ransom note. The note basically said they were holding Jesus for <laughs> ransom. The note reads, we are holding Jesus ransom until you clean up the poopy from your wieners and trust us, we see you take your wieners for long walks without picking up their poopy in our yards. This has upset us nearly, so please clean up all the wiener poopy if you want to see Jesus unharmed. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hate our country. Yo, it drop a bomb. Drop worst. bombs on us now, somebody. It is the worst. Uh, is that the whole story? Uh, no, Jimmy. What happened? He tries to escape? We'll tell you Monday. Oh, look at you oh. with the tease. He got arrested and he's lost in a Weehawken somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it has to be a, a young person because they put these little lines next to the word Jesus. No adult's going to waste their time doing that. And referring to wien, wiener poopy? My gosh. My Jesus gosh. Poor my gosh. Put lines next to the word what? I didn't understand that. Yeah, Jesus? next to the word Jesus. I don't know what they what mean. lines? Man, unless they underlined it. Or they put it in quotes. Quotation marks, maybe. Nobody, No grown-up's going to waste their time doing that. Like, it's not Jesus. It's 
Jesus, Jesus, you know, well, it's it, your actually, it was, Jesus. It's it makes sense. It's yeah, appropriate. It's for actually Jesus in quotes. It's actually good punctuation they yeah. were using there. This could, Jesus. This could be the greatest news story because it has Jesus, Wiener, yeah. and Poopy mm -hmm. in it. It's pretty all good. in one. Pretty all in one. He he he. Gene has four Wiener dogs and admits there was a complaint last year about their leavings, but says she's cleaned up Ew. every pile since. Why can't this guy talk leaving. like a human being? They're leaving? They're leaving. They're leaving. You're You're leaving. He already said poopy like four times. Yes, a poopy. <laughs> poopy. P wiener poopy. I think uh, he was like, ta like, probably were going over the copy when he was doing the voiceover. Yeah. Should I say poopy or, you know, it doesn't seem dignified. I was saying poopy and quoting the letter. Right. I think now that it's me speaking, I should say Feces, like an adult. Should I say feces? No, should, that's... No, no, that's too... Too... How about leaving? Waste? No, no. no. Leaving. Leaving. Because <laughs> I could say it with that inflection. Leaving. Leaving. Oh. Start Googling uh, Wiener Poopy. Let's go, guys. <laughs> there it is. Let's go, that's... Wiener Poopy. We want that as top <laughs> Google search for the day. Yeah, this is today's Google search. Wiener Poopy. Can we hear the end of that again where he says leaving, please? Leavings. <laughs> leaving. <laughs> It has to be a, a young person because they put these little lines next to the word Jesus. No adult's going to waste their time doing that. <laughs> and referring to Wien, Wiener Poopy? My gosh. My gosh. Gene has four Wiener dogs and admits there was a complaint last year about their leavings, but says she's cleaned up every pile. Boy, we, we really built that it. up. Yeah, he just still... goes, complaints about their leavings. <laughs> we were... we're like, leavings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I liked our version yeah, better. Me too. <laughs> She's cleaned up every pile since. I take my dogs for a walk. I carry a plastic bag with me, and I, I pick up anything that they do. Now, Jean just wants her statue back and says she won't face charges. Says, <laughs> I hate that this one, guy. That one's really bad. I hate this guy. She wants her statue guy. back and says and she won't press charges. Uh, let me do it. Take two. Let me do it. She says <laughs> and says she won't press charges. How was that? Can I hear that back? Is there a school for that? Is there yes, some place yeah. we don't know about? Like. Broadcasting school. Broadcasting school where they tell you to do this. It sound like someone's you have to use your, doing you. You have to use your, di <laughs> your diaphragm. Someone's entering you, and you're needing to leave things. And she said, oh, that's good. <laughs> yes. How long? Why? How long is broadcasting school? Uh, it could be four years, yes. Oh, or it no. could be a quick weekend course. For this guy, it's like, you know, it's like a two years, like the same as, you know, being a, a sous chef for, uh, you know, the Olive Garden. If the you know, American you know. Culinary can, can we Institute. Just hear that, can we just hear that last part again with it? And, and says, and says, she wants her Jesus statue bag. Bag with me, and I, I pick up anything that they do. Now, Jean just wants her statue back and says she won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was worth it. And says, and says, and says. <laughs> Jean just wants her statue uh, back and is, says uh, yeah. she won't press charges yes. oh. if Jesus isn't harmed. And I thought, my gosh, uh. something like that's going to be safe in your yard. Why? It wasn't. Why would you think that? It's outside. It wasn't. <laughs> it's safe in your house, in your locked garage, in, in, in your yard. It's not safe. No, it's, it's sitting not. outside, dummy. Yeah. Did we take your daughter's leavings to the doctor's oh, office yet? Yeah. Where oh, are still, her leavings? Oh, you still got her leavings <laughs> in her leavings. hand. Louis C.K. still has them <laughs> and <laughs> says he needs somebody <laughs> to bring them down to the pediatrician. <laughs> <laughs> and says <laughs> the poopy... <laughs> From the what wiener child. <laughs> what is that? I don't understand what that is. Where, where, who told these people that that's how we like to hear things? We want to hear the news delivered in a phony, singy, singy voice. <laughs> and says, <laughs> he sounds like a like a American version of the BBC guys. Um, you know, BBC <laughs> News. Oh, they and, are really weird. You know, and genocide. Like every yeah. story somehow has yes. And HIV AIDS. There was a problem in Baghdad. <laughs> Baghdad. Another bombing which claimed the lives of hundreds. <laughs> what kind of inflection <laughs> yeah. is that? Hundreds. Hundreds. 
another tragedy that could have been averted. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Dan in Boston. Dan. Hey, good morning. Uh, today I learned that Louis C.K. is actually a Mexican, and yes. the whistles go, woo -woo! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we did learn that today. That's Very true. nice. Go, Pats, go. Oh. All right. Uh, I think we can squeeze one more of these weird stories in. Mm. They've been piling up around here lately. It's lunchtime in one of Haiti's most desperate slums. But because of rising food Called prices... Haiti. That <laughs> sounded like yeah. mad. <laughs> it's lunchtime in one of Haiti's most desperate slums. Sunny D time. <laughs> <laughs> think they're going to be eating leavings? <laughs> leavings. Oh, Sunny D in Haiti, they open the refrigerator and it's just <clears throat> five people with bloody machetes <laughs> looking at a rump roast or something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Mike in Arkansas. Mike. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, hey Jimmy, how much do hooker leavings cost? <laughs> <laughs> leavings. Depends on the gal. Depends on the freshness. It's lunchtime in one of Haiti's most desperate slums. Mm -hmm. But because of rising food prices, some of the poorest can't even afford a daily plate of rice. They're going to eat that Instead, baby. Instead, they're taking desperate <laughs> measures to fill their bellies. This mother and her toddler now rely on a traditional Haitian remedy for hunger pangs, cookies made of dried yellow dirt. <laughs> Mud has long been used by pregnant Oh, my God. <laughs> the crowd loved that. <laughs> by the way, I, I'm not getting in trouble for playing that boring clip over... Uh... Why would you? All right. It was God to... wanted that played. It's yes. a commercial here. I think it's a commercial that we're playing here in New York where Mike from Mike and the Mad Dog is is talking about the Super Bowl. I guess he's doing a little Super Bowl, like, tidbits yeah. or something. I don't even know. But his delivery is like, I don't want to do this. I'm being forced to do this. So here it is. He's so, not pizzazz, that guy. So I've been playing, like, the boring clip under his uh, his commercial read. What happened with the dirt cookies? They sound lovely. Yeah, let's uh, get mm. yellow cookies made from dirt. Yeah. <laughs> Remedy for hunger pangs. Cookies made of dried yellow dirt. The mud has long been used by pregnant women and children as an antacid and source of calcium. But now cookies made of dirt, salt, and vegetable shortening mm. have become a regular meal for some. Food prices are up as much as 40% on some Caribbean islands after floods from last year's hurricane season damaged crops. Because of that, Caribbean leaders held an emergency summit to discuss cutting food taxes and coming up with ways to reduce the island's dependence on imports. Do you know, can Haitian you doctors say those who rely on the cookies are at risk for malnutrition. And officials warn the dirt can contain deadly parasites or toxins. This story reminds me. That's why I had to jump in. Uh, I was out for sushi the other night, mm. and mm. the rice wasn't as gummy as I like it to be, mm, so my yeah. sushi fell apart. That's really that dry. is. Did you send it back and have it thrown in, into a garbage pail? I certainly <laughs> did. I said, throw this away. Don't. <laughs> no one will want this. No. That's what that story reminded me of. It's worthless. Have a dirt cookie. They're story. eating <laughs> dirt cookie. <laughs> dirt cookies. <laughs> How Stupid. awful. Don't call them cookies. No, no. they're not cookies. No, it, it, it reminds me of when, and this is true, I took my daughter to dinner the other night, and I ordered her a plate of spaghetti and a cheeseburger. Wow. In case, because she's fickle. She doesn't know which one she, she wants. A, I understand a that. A bite of each. Every we're going to talk and, about food. Can we play We Are the World or something? Mm, I need some music behind this. We, th we She took mm. a bite of burger, a bite of the pasta, and the rest we just chucked in the gut. Uh, throw it away. Just For the rats. The rats eat better than, uh, yeah, exactly. than the Haitians in yeah. the city. Uh, I bet you the dirt cookies have some leavings I'm chips leave. in them. I'm <laughs> sure they do. Leavings. My, I gave my dog... Uh, I fed my dog fresh beef and vegetables for breakfast this morning. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> fresh beef from a supermarket. Uh, I went to uh, an Italian restaurant here in Manhattan, and um, it's uh, served what they call family style. Ah, yeah. And, and it's a giant, you get a giant platter of food. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just me and my girl. And, and uh, she doesn't like what I have. Sure. And I don't like what she has. Right. So we each had to get a giant, giant portion sure. of which... You couldn't even tell we had eaten anything out of it, yeah. and I was stuffed. Right. Uh, and then they take it away and throw it in the garbage. Yeah, no, and you throw it in, like, hazmat garbage, so it's certain that yeah. no, one, no other people will eat it. Right. It's like a shredder for food. Yeah, because <laughs> it's illegal to yeah. give that food to anybody. That's and the right. beauty, because we are Americans, that yeah. the, all that beautiful food that's in the dumpsters, we don't let the homeless eat it, so we poison it. That's they right. dump actual poison on this delicious food that the <laughs> exactly. homeless would have... 
would have yep. grabbed and had a nice meal. Exactly. We do that because we're Americans. That's you know. what we've always done. Jimmy, you got a food story maybe? Uh, well, I started with the sushi one. I, I normally, I don't know. I mean, I, I like to take a couple of bites out of things and throw it on the floor. And uh, they just say, look, this fell. I'm not paying for it. And then I go home. This fell. <laughs> what about the gluttony <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday? You know, big game on Sunday, the gluttony that's going to be. chicken wings. Yep, I'll order a pizza. Uh, a few, uh, uh, yeah. about a week ago, I was driving from Louisville, Kentucky to uh, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And I stopped at a Kroger's. Right. At 3 o'clock in the morning, and it was open, totally lit up and air-conditioned and perfectly, you know, controlled. And there was just a, about an acre of meat on out on the, you know, on the shelf. Yeah. And uh, no one was going to ever buy it that night, and the next day it would all be thrown away. Yeah, of course. And that Kroger's represents literally millions of... Of supermarkets that just have, in case one guy wants meat at three o'clock and wants <laughs> wants a, squ a square inch of meat, they put an acre out there. <laughs> yeah, it really sucks. They got to eat dirt cookies. And then it all throws. Oh, oh those right, those dirt people cookies. with dirt cookies. I Don't forgot they, about the dirt what's cookies. Wrong? Why are they eating dirt cookies? There's meat at Kroger's. You, and what if you want to stupid, go back a ways. I remember. Uh, how far is Haiti from Louisville? Really? Yeah. How hard would that be? Come on. Gonna... Just make the swim. Yeah. When I was uh, probably uh, a little older than these children that they're talking about that are making yeah. dirt cookies, uh, I remember going to Jack in the Box uh, with all yeah. my friends at the end of a night of drinking. And we would get uh, a breakfast jacks, they were called. Right. Uh, and But we would get extra ones yeah. just so after we eat our fill, we could drive by... Uh, the Jack in the Box, and throw them at the big windows in Throwing front, food and just the watch prank. them slide yeah. down the window. Yeah. And la would we laugh yeah. as that food, that sustenance, was just oozing down the we windows? We have enough food here in this country to do funny things with it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know we that? play with. We have to be told not to play exactly. with our food. Exactly. That dirt cookie story reminded me. I had a Toll House freshly baked. Uh, I had about eight of them, and I was only going to eat three. And a couple of them actually had more chips on one side of the cookie than the other. Oh, that's, that's awful. What that's a not infuriating. That's oh, awful. Hold on, I want to make more room so I can eat. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how do they deal with the anorexia problem over there? Like, do they have to maybe force them to eat the dirt cookies? I guess so. And the bulimia? Like, does that hurt when, when after you binge? On dirt cookies, you have to purge, and there's the pebbles that scrape Probably. your Look at the positive side. Uh, they don't have those diseases in uh, Haiti. Yeah, that's right. That was... Uh... I bought. I went shopping the other night for my kids, and I got a chicken <laughs> and some lamb chops and uh, beef. And then I ended up not feeling like cooking. Yeah. I got takeout every night this yeah. week, and all of that food went rotten in, in my fridge. Yep. <laughs> you just got to clean it out and throw it away. I know, or else it's a real drag stinks. for me. It's a mold. Real, yeah. Everyone understands the method. What we're really trying to say with this bit, and like, don't misinterpret it, yes. is that uh, this Black History Month, we want to acknowledge that in Haiti, they are spoiled. <laughs> they're, they're what? Spoiled. They're spoiled. Uh, you excuse don't have me. Food. Have a dirt cookie. I'd I love know. to have cookies for uh, every meal of the sure. day. Listen, it's not just dirt, too. What did she say? They had a vegetable shortening and salt in there? Something in there. Sounds delicious. delicious. Sounds great. Have a dirt cookie, son. You've been good. In some countries, that's a delicacy. <laughs> you know when they say that? Exactly. Yeah. In some countries, that's a delicacy. Yeah, because they don't have any actual food. Because <laughs> yeah. they don't have beef. Yeah. Figure it out. Poor countries. Spit that's why is a delicacy. Yeah, that's why slugs are a delicacy. They yeah. spit in each other's <laughs> mouths for food because they got nothing else. Uh, how about, uh, I remember being a small child and my parents getting into a big fight. Mm -hmm. And um, my father taking a full plate, a big platter of uh, spaghetti, and just throwing it against the wall and calling my mother an F and a C. And watching the spaghetti uh, ooze down the wall. And it brought tear to my, uh, tears to my eyes. Not, you know, the, the waste of food. It was the fact that my parents were probably sure. getting a divorce, and I was devastated. Well, the people in Haiti would probably happily drink those tears for nourishment now. Of course, well, add it to these uh, dirt cookies. That's where the, the salt comes from. Yeah, They're wonderful, tears. wonderful snack. Wonderful. Oh, look, an infected toe. Let me suck on that. I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I have personally, I have probably personally poured about four million gallons of milk down the drain. 
<laughs> Just poured it Enough down the drain. To feed a nation. I bought a gallon of milk. This has been repeated 50,000 times in my life. Mm -hmm. Bought a gallon of milk. Made a, Didn't even drink a glass of it. Made a cappuccino <laughs> right. with, with an eighth of a cup of it. <laughs> and then let the rest rot. Come back home from the road and pour it out. Right. How about uh, lunch meat? Lunch meat? Oh, yeah. We all, have, we all get like a pound of ham or yeah. turkey or something. Give me a pound. You know you what? Give me sandwich. a pound, buddy. You yeah, make one you sandwich and forget yeah. that it's in the forget fridge. It. And then, plah, right Forget the, it. Right into the garbage. You That's know, it. It's like Swiss the Bible cheese says. becomes cardboard. <laughs> yeah. Stiffens up on exactly. it. Teach a man to buy cookies. Mm -hmm. Boy, I screwed up. Oh. <laughs> I don't, I've never actually read the Bible, but I just heard it's good. Oh, well. This well. sucks. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, we were doing. We were doing Hello. Great, so. but, but, no, that's the oh, thing. Well, Give well. a nation of uh, grain and food and uh, mm -hmm. rice, and they'll eat for twenty, thirty years. <laughs> yeah. Teach them that the dirt beneath their feet can be cookies, <laughs> and the whole country will be dead in a week. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we Words leave you to today. live by Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, really fast. <laughs> Got to get this in. We're sending Sam and Big A to the NBC Night Rider premiere party at the Playboy Mansion, and we want you to join them. This is what you do. You go up, uh, you go to onaradio.com and register to win the trip to LA to the Playboy Mansion. And also, don't forget, uh, watch the Knight Rider movie event Sunday, February 17th on NBC. We gotta get out of here. Louis, big plug or what? What do you yeah, got? Buffalo Center for the Arts, uh, February 14th and Wilkes Bar at the Something or Other Center on March 7th. <laughs> something or I'm other. I'm in There's gonna be more tickets available to my special in Boston at the Berkeley Performing Center March 1st. We're gonna get tickets out more somehow. Okay. We're squeeze more tickets out. All right. Jimmy, anything? You good? Uh, I got bananas coming up next weekend in Poughkeepsie. And uh, February 15 through 17, I'm in San Francisco at Cobb's Comedy Club. Very nice. On Monday, we'll be discussing the uh, the big uh, the big Pats wins. So. Oh, yeah. Good luck, Giants. <clears throat> what? Good luck, Giants. What? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> You're a Pats fan. Help I me know. out here. It's just sports, though. <laughs> uh, sports. Finally, a little dose of reality. Sports. It's just sports. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Opie and Anthony. And here we are. XM Satellite Radio. Yes. Don't forget to go to opianthony.com. We got the uh, the pictures and the video. Oh, they're sexy, Zip. man. Oh, From yeah. From cherry darts yesterday. Yeah. Wow, we Damn. were looking at those earlier, and wow, I just got to say, hubba hubba. Oh, we got to have more of that, man. We've That's got a couple good ones stuff. lately. The fucking money, honey. Yeah. And then the cherry darts. We got to get more broads in here. Yeah. It's fucking rules. Yeah. We like broads. We bet we do. More of the bitches. Bring on the bitches. <laughs> Something sounds real bassy today. Yeah, is it? it's me. I'm very smooth. Are you? No. Uh, Are you? Uh, Are you? Oh no. Hey, All I right. Was just talking to Chris Rock, who told me he. Had Wait, I can't hear shit. Turn my headphones. Well, uh oh, I'm turning my headphones no, off. No, it's not even about that. It sounds muffled or something. Not All right, All right go ahead, Louis. I just was talking to Chris Rock, who said that oh. he had an awesome time on this show. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, he was really funny, man. Yeah. He had a really fun time. Yeah, we hit it off with him, I, I do cool. believe. He'll never come back, but we did hit it <laughs> off. He'll come day. back. Yeah, I bet he will. <laughs> just, he will. I'm just kidding. I think uh, yeah, he had joking. fun in uh, Patrice in the studio that day. Yeah. We talked about Patrice being self-destructive. Yes. And uh, I... Uh, Chris Rock gives great advice. I know, know him nearly as well as you do. I, I know him. No, he's casually. very smart. He's, he's got a good instinct. He's brilliant with the business. Yep. Like business. Everything he's ever said to me as far as the business is concerned mm -hmm. has been mm -hmm. on the money. No, when I was doing, when I was making Pootie Tang, when we were in pre-production, I was, uh, there's this producer on the movie, Cotty Chubb, and uh, he was like my right-hand man. He was doing everything for me. And Chris came up to me and said, that guy's going to take the movie away from you eventually. Oh. And I was like, that's crazy. He's my partner. This guy's got my back. And he goes, no, he, that guy is going to eventually take this movie away from you and kill you. And it's exactly what, what happened. happened. <laughs> wow. Like, he just you. knew it. He didn't even know the guy. He saw the two of us talking, and he's like, yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy they picked to watch you and help you, and then in the end, he's going to screw you. Oh. And that guy did 
pry the movie away from me and fuck me hard in the ass. He uh, he learned that through having that done to him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he knows yeah. he's he's good enough Very now perceptive. at the game to go. He just goes, oh, that's that guy who does that. And now I'm that way. Now I can do that. You just you know s- you can tell the future. certain people and who they are because there isn't really that much variety in any there one isn't. industry. Well, I've noticed that too. Like <laughs> if you go from industry to industry, no matter what it is, yeah. there's that guy and there's this a guy. guy. With, there's the guy with the nervous laugh who will sell you out eventually yep. under yep. pressure. Yeah, yeah. There's, you know, there's the dude. There's like all kinds of people. There's the chick. There's the woman who. Like takes during a meeting, she takes off her shoes and then sits kind of cat-like and says how much she loves you, mm-hmm. and she'll eventually fuck you up the ass right. with somebody else's dick. <laughs> she'll rip <laughs> off some other guy's dick <laughs> and just sh- put shove it on right the end in of your a ass and shove it up your ass. <laughs> but yeah. you learn to players because they're not the thing they're not good at is changing shape or or, or no, tactics. They're not shape changers. No, no they're not. They're just Very they're obvious. vicious and but they're not. They're, you know, you can walk around them once you learn the the greatest terrain. the greatest yeah. fuck you in entertainment history is the uh, Michael Jackson Paul McCartney thing. What was that? Where, where, oh, where Michael uh, Jackson owns like uh, you know the Beatles catalog, right? And he sells it to you know commercial M and M's commercials or whatever. And yeah. fucking yeah. McCartney taught him how to do that or something. Yeah, like McCartney that? gave him some. Ad- how does that go again? McCartney gave him some advice. I bring this up because there's something to this that uh, just popped the other day. But w- what's the story again? I think it was something about McCartney kind of told him how to keep ownership. or so- It was something about getting ownership or keeping ownership. Yeah. And I guess Michael had so much money. I- and I think he used it to buy a lot of the Beatles catalog. Yeah. I don't know yeah. exactly. Yeah, they get- Some th- listener may know more. Yeah, Michael either. owns a lot of the Beatles catalog. Yeah, they, they were yeah. pals. But here's where it, 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 it's uh, current. So Michael Jackson is doing a 20th or 25th anniversary version of uh, Thriller. Like remixing it, oh and, boy, and doing all sorts of shit with this uh, this He's album, trying everything. Isn't it's going to be a really big deal, and it's going to come out, I think, in the very early spring, in a month or two. And uh, there's no hint that Paul McCartney was ever on that album because I do believe they sang a song together on there. Was no, that thriller. where they did the was girl? That thriller? I, no, I don't think they, they was it on that. Hmm. The, yeah, the girl is mine or whatever that. Yeah, was that on Thriller? The girl, girl, girl is mine. Well, that's the, the song, mine, that, Michael. Yeah, that's the song they're that's talking just about. Mine. So. <laughs> well, then maybe it's more that's than mine, Paul. That's for... no, she's mine, Michael. <laughs> but but there's no hint that Paul McCartney ever like collaborated uh, with Michael Jackson. It right. is some, I thought it was the the anniversary of the Thriller CD. I might be wrong. Mm. Maybe it's the Thriller CD and they threw some other things in there. Now I need to find. What the about story. the one with the video where they're like uh, in the covered wagon thing and with they're the traveling around with the hey. elixirs and then they put on a little stage show. Awful. And, and then he did Ebony and Ivory also, right? With, uh, yeah, Stevie, with Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Well, I think he's that was like, symbolic like of racism. I like the black fellows. No. Making... It's about piano, so, you yeah, dummy. Yeah, p- piano. Because you say like Ebony and Ivory live side by side on my piano keyboard. Oh, Lord, why can't we? And I think that he was talking about, like, why can't black no, people and white people? That's stupid. I He's know. talking about how the keys on the keyboard, some of them are black and some of them are white. And they're next to each other. Yeah. They would have been more oh. obvious, I think. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And also, black and white people, are like, they can't get along. Oh, no. <laughs> not like the keyboard. idea that is. Not like the keys on it. Do you ever oh, see... It's the, not even close. Do you ever see the uh, minor key on a uh, piano uh, rape one of the other keys? No, never. <laughs> Never. Wow, that's an excellent way. It never pulls a gun out the white, and shoots the, the other black keys. Yeah, the white keys don't own and whip the black keys. No. But there are more white keys, and they are... are there are more of the white And the, the black, black keys have to kind of fit in. And the black keys that's are true. also a little off-key, like they're yeah, sort yeah. of like oh, weird keys. It's like a little strange... Off, out of the mainstream keys. Fan knows a lot about uh, pianos, sure he and does. he doesn't use the black keys at all, from what I you hear. stay away from them? He stays away. He's so racist. Yes, I only play uh, <laughs> things in C or A minor. For you. Oh, see, there oh, you go. That. Well, that's how. Out Excuse there. me. <laughs> <laughs> he actually is a, quite that's the accomplished like, pianist. That would be a great code of racism. <laughs> that uh, club is only in A minor, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, uh, or you could just listen to a song and know you listen and go, he didn't use one black key in that. <laughs> exactly. I know what he's going for here. <laughs> hey, uh, Chris Berman. Black Berman's. History Month, by the way. Yeah, Chris Berman, listen. little tribute. For, you know, because we played this earlier, but uh, satellite radio, you get the curses, so here we go. Now you get it uncensored. Chris Berman losing his mind on live TV. Not live TV. This was in between uh, takes, I guess. He was doing something for Monday Night Football. I think the year is 2000, and uh, it's up there somewhere on the Internet. Maybe break that. I don't know. Danny found it somewhere. I know it'll be on ONARadio.com. Steve will link it. 
on that website for sure. When I'm doing TV and I got 18, God damn it, can't everybody stop for 10 minutes? I mean, everybody seems that that's the only, everybody can we stick, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's not that much to ask. Is that when everybody has to move when I'm trying to concentrate? Jesus. And you guys thought I was crazy. I mean, it's so rude. I can't believe it. That's it's so goddamn rude. Bass. Why does everyone all of a sudden have to move? That two hey. hours to move around. Wait ten minutes. Hey. Let's wait the bleeping. Hey. The whole reason why we're playing it today over here for were a second su- time. Were we supposed to say fucking over it? Maybe that beep wasn't ours. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I, I, I. Uh... Say it. That's what happened, Opie? Up. I fucked up. How? <laughs> Played the wrong one. You, you fucked up by letting E Rock do something. Yeah, no, I I fucked up. <laughs> no, I had, I, I, had I had a scary murderer like uh, chase me all night long in my dream. Oh, honey, to the Ooh. point where the dream was so exhausting, I had to wake up. I, it was more exhausting than scary. Oh. Yeah. I'd find a place to hide in a mm-hmm. town or something. The next thing you know, I get some kind scary of scary murderer is right there. I get sure. some communique that he's he's getting close again. So then I have to take uh-huh. off again. This dream was exhausting, and yes. I woke up and I just I just like I I slap my face a few times. Just wake up. Mm-hmm. Shake up the brain so the brain forgets this dream, and we'll we'll try another dream. What are you afraid yeah. of? I love facing. nightmares. I fucking love nightmares. No, he did. He's That's not afraid. He faced it. That no. means you worked it out. He was running away from it, and it keeps getting uh, close. Yeah, and no, but he wor- no. When you work, dream hard, analyzing. Blows. No, I'm very good at it. Dream analyzing. <laughs> no, you're One not. Time I, I dreamt I was flying. All dreams mean the Socks. same thing. It's the Jews trying to control your mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's what every dream is. <laughs> every dream is that. But I'm tired because it was exhausting. It was just exhausting. Yeah. Nightmares are exciting. They're yeah. fun. I love mm. having nightmares. The scarier, the better. You wake up, you're like, holy fuck. But it's it's like you were in some cool movie. And then yeah. you're up and yeah. everything's fine. You you had, and I've talked about this before, you you have like the hugest life-threatening fucking problems. Right. And in a second, they're gone when you wake up. It's like, bop, 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 that's fixed. That is the Thank greatest. Thank God, because I was up for murder yeah. of somebody. I and have this, now I'm the one fine. I have all the time is being in an airplane and we're flying like through a city like yeah, and, like yeah. the, the, I'm like well, there's no way we're not hitting those buildings. I've had the one and the pilot's yeah. like apologizing. I know we're a little low. Please bear with me. <laughs> and but the thing about that dream every time is that I tell myself this time this is not a dream. I always dream this. Yeah, but this is real. And I'm that I'm just sure it's real. I have See, that one mo- all the time. Like like uh, we we go to take off. It's always on take off. And there's trees and a yeah. field, and I'm like, oh, my God, I could hear we don't have enough power. Yep. We're not off the ground, and we're going into the trees. That's Always. Right. And, yeah. and the plane never fucking takes off no. right. No. <laughs> and, and I'm the same way. I go, I know this is a dream, this is, yep. but every time it happens, like, holy shit, why the fuck? <laughs> That's your mind telling you. It's a symbolic of being mm. afraid that your plane is going to hit something. <laughs> <laughs> But that's abstract. You really yes. go deep. Anthony's on to something, though. When you wake up from a horrific dream where yeah. you think you're going to prison for that's, life, that's I don't know, whatever one. it is, and you wake up and realize it was just a dream, it yeah. is the greatest is feeling, feeling ever. That's the biggest one I have all the time is, is I'm, I'm just hanging out, and then it hits me, and my memory goes, wait a minute. I fucking help people kill somebody. Well, that's what I always have a oh, dream shit. that I murdered people. Yeah, and that and they're, they're buried coming, somewhere. Like someone, I'm in a room and they're knocking on the door to make me pay they're for not, my murders. Yeah. Really? And I'm like, that's it. Um, this is the end. See, I don't get life. that. I get the one where I've killed somebody, and they're they're after years, they're yeah. on to me. Like the cops are starting wow. to come to the door and go, uh, we found something, and then I'm like, yeah. and I start thinking, I'm gonna fucking be in prison for my yep. whole life because yep. I did do this. I'm yep. like, I did it. And then uh, you wake up and go, ah, good. I Case dreamt dismissed. that I was driving a bus. I drove a bus into a crowd at an intersection and plowed down about 40 people and oh, killed them. fantastic. And then everybody was at the bus windows, banging on the windows, trying to get in at me. That's actually what I jerk off to. <laughs> <laughs> and then I woke up and thought, oh, thank God. Mm-hmm. I dreamt the other day, and this is the truth, and I actually talked about this in therapy. Yeah. I dreamt that my mother walked into my room, but the room I live in now and took a cat litter box full of cat shit and dumped it into the trash in my bathroom. And I said, don't do that. Don't leave that in here. And she belligerently dumped the cat shit into my fucking bathroom uh, garbage can and then walked out. Wow. What does that mean? I don't know. I actually... Hopefully something. it means something, not just, I don't want mom dumping cat shit. Ooh. 
I actually dreamt the other night. I have a friend who doesn't talk to me anymore. Like, I, I have a friend who broke up with me. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Like, broke I wrote him up an, with you. I wrote him an email saying, I'm not sure what happened, but I, I miss your friendship. And, Aww. uh, and he never wrote, but he just doesn't talk to me anymore. And I had this dream the other night that it was, I was at his father's funeral. I don't think his father is really dead, mm. but that he's Jewish and that at Jewish funeral, you, the father gets, his father gets put into a giant, uh, garlic, a big, like, <laughs> a big head of garlic. Clove of garlic. Yeah. Head, yeah, whatever. A big they... giant head of garlic and that he wanted me to carry this big head of garlic. To the funeral means a lot to the Jewish but people. But it wasn't. It wasn't part. He's like, I just need garlic. to carry it to the thing and then stop, and then we'll take it from there. Oh. Like I was just carrying his dead father in a giant garlic, <laughs> yeah, as a favor. And he wouldn't even. I'm trying to make small Fuck talk. Him. With him. He wouldn't even talk to me while I'm doing it. And then at one point he's like, okay, that's far enough. Like because I'm not Jewish, he wouldn't let me come the rest of the way. Well, you're, selfish. You're Maybe you're sad about his father being dead. You're thinking it's about you. That's Maybe right. he's fucking sad that the man who raised him is now in a garlic head who being cares? carried by a fucking red-headed fucking creep. So <laughs> Maybe he should have fucking helped snotty Scotty. Jew. Who gives a shit? But wait, no, like, that's the oddest thing, too. Dead re when dead people show up in your dreams yeah. and stuff and you hang out. Like my father occasionally pops into my dreams. That's real, and, by the way. And then you're like, that's real stuff. You're like hanging out and talking. It's like, hey, uh, you don't even think twice about it. And then you wake up and go, ew, that was creepy. He's been dead. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's still alive in your dreams. Oh, is that it? Yeah, there's actual communication going on. Oh, is it? Yeah, if you read a book or two on your death experience. How come it's usually that? hanging out talking and not driving drunk in his pickup truck with me in the passenger seat scared shitless? <laughs> what is he saying to you in the dreams? Uh, nothing. They're, they're it's like people, Anthony. It's small Don't talk. Don't hate them that much. They're people. <laughs> no, no, he wouldn't say that. <laughs> no, you must. In anyone's wildest dreams. <laughs> He's making sure you carry the torch for the kumias. <laughs> yes. Do not forget the lessons I taught you when you were five years old. <laughs> well, you just wanted uh, to go outside and play. Uh, well, this guy says, uh, Tom and Philly, I, I had a dream that the show I listened to five hours a day once pretended to drop bra bombs on a TV station. Mm. What a nightmare. <laughs> then he woke up and realized, uh, we never did that. Yeah. I'll and never then, bring that up. And then you get, uh, Th Thomas from Dallas. Was, were you dreaming, Opie, were you dreaming, uh, that you were the young Opie and the older Opie was out to kill you for the blimp mm. thing? Linger longer. Should have. All right, back to Chris Berman. It's Here interesting because the two things I know about you is running away, scared. What do you mean? Because the one story mm. that really resonates to me about you yeah. is the one where they t taught you about sex in school. Oh, yep. yeah, that was And horrific. then told you that your parents know, and then you ran into a tree. A uh, yeah. <laughs> down. An apple tree. <laughs> apple yeah, an tree. apple tree. You know, a very poetic uh, tree. I was 11. It wasn't even yes. like a fern. It was an apple tree. I was tree. 11 like or 12. That's the real George was Washington much story, info. by the way. <laughs> well, I was, I, you know, back when somebody... you're 11 or 12, you're getting your sex, uh, you know, yeah. knowledge from other kids that sort of, like, get a tidbit here. To, that was good mm -hmm. enough for me. Yeah, exactly. To see the film and then be warned that the parents are prepared for you to come home from uh, school so you could have a longer discussion on this. I wasn't yep. ready for that. No. And your, I just wasn't ready. Totally. And your parents know. What? And there's no, there's something there's about... no exaggeration because I, I, as a kid, I loved climbing trees. The, like the taller, the better. I mean, I would mm -hmm. get kind of crazy with the, you know, the climbing of the trees. And, uh, yeah, I ran right up, uh, the apple tree and I, I Wouldn't remember like it was yesterday, my dad oh. looking up at me going, come on, it's not going to be that bad. Come down. <laughs> no, come it on. is. We'll just, we'll just talk for five or ten minutes. I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, it was But awful. that's interesting because that fear. Which is not everybody reacts to yeah, that with that years kind old, of fear. No, I know, but not everybody. It, nobody, not everybody reacts with fear to that situation. Right, so you react to it with fear, and there's something about that in your fear in this, these dreams, these exhausting running away. Well, your things. hormones have I to. I think it's the same person. You know what it comes side. down to though in that case when you're learning about sex, your hormones yeah. got to be ready. They got to match yeah, up. That's right. Like I, 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 I developed very late, mm -hmm. so uh, for. For a 12-year-old, I still want to hang out with my G.I. Joes and my stupid yeah. bike with the baseball card that made the noise a little bit. Mm -hmm. I wasn't ready for that crap. All Your about hormones got to be ready. You start right. feeling some shit. You're like, all right, tell me what this is. I need to know I if was this already is cool or not. showing my dick to the retarded girl down the street. <laughs> yeah. It was all about just yeah. sex at that point. 11 or 12? No, uh, 12 believe me. It was, it was seventh grade, isn't it? Oh, I was fucking second grade. Second grade. Yeah, yeah. Third grade, yeah. I, I, it was really? always about, like, the girls with me uh, growing up and being a kid. Like, the first time I kissed a girl, I think I was probably six in the basement of this shitty apartment building. Yeah. And then she started kissing this other kid named Keith right in front of me. 
I was yeah. like, you fucking little bitch. I didn't say that. <laughs> I was like, you, you poopy head or something. No, I remember in third grade, there was a girl named Debbie Fuller in our class, and we all talked about wanting, oh, I fucked wanting the shit to fuck out of her. her. Yeah, she was in <laughs> third grade. <laughs> And the one one time I was in a class and we had this little loft that you could climb in in third grade in my classroom and John Ryan was in there this fat kid and he had his little dick out and he was jerking it off and saying I want to fuck Debbie and everyone was just sitting wow. around we were all just sitting around and one of us had a, his dick out and he was jacking off third grade Jesus Christ my, my daughter's in kindergarten where did he get that well I don't know I don't know where I was on. way behind. Yeah, I, I know. I don't have any of those stories from when I was younger. Oh. I remember I loved Kelly Howold when I was in second or third grade. I had such a crush on her, but I had shit my pants a lot in yeah. school. <laughs> you shit your pants a you lot? You were a pants shitter? Horrendous. It would always smell like rust. <laughs> <laughs> and I was standing in line one time, and Kelly Howold was right behind me, and she's like, Did you go poops in your pants? And it was my first attempt at sarcasm. I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> it doesn't work when it's true. No, though. Of course it doesn't. No. It's a confirmation that I had indeed flat. I had flat. It looked like a fucking a shit nail head. <laughs> like I had flattened it by sitting on it. It was cool. <laughs> There's nothing worse than fucking cold, rusty smelling uh, shit in your underpants. Oh, that is horrid. Uh, yeah. And she knew you shit yourself. How could she not have? Mm. As I was standing there stiff legging, trying to get out, smelling like shit. I shit my pants all the time in school. I only wanted to shit at home. I remember I shit my pants in school once, and it was like I just basically coated the inside of my underwear with diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to the bathroom, and while I'm in the stall, all, Michael Boyvin, the toughest kid in school, and, uh -oh. and his gang came into the bathroom. <laughs> Come on, Woim. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I was standing on the toilet with my shit underwear in my hands, just praying that he wouldn't kick the door oh, open and find me there. Oh, yeah, would you have been mad? And I, I had no choice. I, I, I ate it. What else could I do? <laughs> <laughs> what else could I do? I wish Michael Boyfriend would have found that fucking <laughs> oh, underwear in your hand. He might not be mm -hmm. here today. Might I be wouldn't be right here. Kill no. You. My, uh, no, I'd be with him right now. I'd be married to him. <laughs> my best shit story happened when I was 31 years old. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I've told it a couple times. Mm -hmm. uh, Rick, our old producer for this radio show, uh, I was down in Florida and... And I was meeting his, uh, what would be his uh, future wife for the first time. And it was a big deal. And we uh, went out and we had a little lunch, whatever. And I had an upset stomach all uh, all day. And it was when, like, boxer shorts were really in. So mm -hmm. you're a little looser, right? And I had yeah. shorts on and I had, like, sandals on. And I was saying uh, goodbye on their stoop. And I mm -hmm. thought it could sneak out a, just a little bubble fart. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a true story, man. A little nugget. Oh fell out, God. rolled down my leg, oh my bounced God. off my sandal, and just rolled it oh rolled to God. the front. Of take, them. take that with you, <laughs> like down to their feet. Oh, pretty much. It, it couldn't have been more perfect. You know how it, it just is. rolled and landed right. That was at their my feet. last milk dud. <laughs> Get all mad. That's how they say goodbye in some countries. That's actually <laughs> yeah. how you it's say like, goodbye. That's a cookie in Haiti. <laughs> that's how I, 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 I. That's how I met his future wife, and then I. I said Boy, that's how I, they fell in love. I don't feel good, and then I. Just shit my brains for the next like wow. six to eight hours or something like that. I ended up not leaving. I had to like lay down back in their place. I ended up having like just food poisoning or something Never was going shit on. Shit myself. Never oh, it was the, shit myself. Just, it was just one little nugget, and I was already in my thirties. Oh my god! <laughs> when I was on Conan, writing on Conan, I was a writer there, and I was laying awake in bed one morning, like not getting up yet, and I was sleeping in just underwear, yeah, you know, no shirt for some reason. I usually sleep in shirt and underwear. And uh, I just lay in there and about, you know, going, <laughs> planning to fart. <laughs> and just, and just shit. I just shit in my underwear. And for some reason, the fact that I was in bed, mostly naked, it just really upset me. <laughs> and I was really bummed. Thing, huh? And then my phone rang, and it was my friend Dino, who was my one of my uh, guys I wrote with on Conan. And I told him what happened. I said, that this is, I just feel so, I don't want to get out of bed now. Like, I don't know, I just don't want to move. This was the grossest thing that ever happened to deal with me. it. And then I got out of bed, I dealt, you know, I cleaned up, and I went to work, and I opened the door, and the writer's assistant, this woman says, hey, I heard you shit your underwear this morning. I'm like, what the fuck? And every <laughs> single person everybody. came up to me, Conan, said, hey, what's that, how, how did that go, shitting in your underwear? <laughs> and I, and I, go to, I go to Dino, and I said, what the fuck? And he goes, I assume you wanted me to tell everybody. Why wouldn't, I why wouldn't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, right? Right? You wouldn't have told, told me. Didn't you tell me so I could spread the news before you got to work? <laughs> 
Amazing. I like pissed to bed stories when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I think the last time, though, wasn't. And it wasn't one of those, you know, if you're just a kid, you piss to bed, because I never did that. It was kind of when you're in your early teens almost, and, and you dream that you're taking a piss. Yes. Right. So you're laying in bed, and you're dreaming that you're just taking this fucking wicked piss. <laughs> wicked piss. Wicked yeah. piss. And you wake up and go like, uh-oh. Uh oh, boy. Pissed all over the <laughs> fucking bed. Do you know I did that with that dream when Louie and I were in Bonnaroo a few years, 2003, in uh, the, yeah. the Tennessee. I woke up in my hotel bed, and I was fucking my sheets wet. Wow. I pissed my bed wow. a couple years ago. Uh, wet, wet dreams are fucking great. When, um, I, when I was like, in, just, just come just, in just, your just, fucking shoot a load in your sleep. <laughs> just stay with piss for a that. second. <laughs> when I was in like first grade, I remember I just I was in my bedroom just being confused and I just I pissed on my bed like standing there. <laughs> I just that is confused. I pissed on my bed and I remember thinking I don't I don't know why I'm doing this. Yeah. Wow, that's you weird. Mark your I didn't piss my. I just pissed on it, and then I didn't let anybody in my room for a while. I just said, "Please don't go in there," and yeah. they just got stiff with piss, and Ugh. it was really depressing. Get rid of that bed. So, what about coming in the, here? Uh, yeah, yeah, like uh, <laughs> when you have a, a wet dream, and those yeah. those are just for the um, very youthful. Right. I have, I don't think I've had one of those in fucking mm. decades, but uh, I do remember you you come like in a second because mm -hmm. in your dream. I guess you've been so worked up that in real life you got a rod and you're humping your bed or whatever right. the fuck you're doing. And then when this dream girl, the girl in, in the dream, uh, has her clothes off and you just like touch your dream dick to her dream yeah. pussy, yeah. dream cum comes out all over the fucking place. <laughs> yes. And then in real life you're just shooting your load all yes. over. You know, a lot yes. of times. But it feel, in your dream it's mm. like it feels amazing. But a lot yeah. of times in the, you're not rubbing in your dream, by the way. No, it's you just, just like, you have just so much like sperm built up. It's that's just, amazing, uh, that complete mental fucking why, thing then. And there's no physical pumping. But that's somebody. why you don't have many wet dreams if you have an active you know, sex life. Yeah. you got to really yeah, dry yourself off. <laughs> I've get, never had one. I'd, That's why, Because yeah, you know, you're I, just jacking. Wet dreams are it's amazing. What, it's what, to, like, it, there's a cycle to this, because when I was in uh, eighth grade, seventh grade, what is, tw 12, 13, mm -hmm. that all I needed was 12-year-old, 13-year-old Lauren Tossie in her gym clothes, <laughs> lift, <laughs> lifting up her sh shirt and, and pulling her shorts down slightly. Yeah. That was the picture I had. And I'd come immediately. Like that's oh, that to me that was the pinnacle of sex. Mm, right. Thank you. I didn't even. Yeah. No, no, here's the thing. And Welcome then I grew up and I started getting hand jobs. I started fucking women, getting blown, you know, f uh, coming on asses and faces and tits. <laughs> and now I'm 40 and I'm back to that. That's all I can really get. That's off all of. you can really yeah. think about. It's a teenage about girl and... showing me four inches of her belly. Yeah. Let's go I to Florida. Over myself. Hap what happens there? No. And a grown <laughs> woman blowing me. I'm like. Can you leave? <laughs> this is boring. <laughs> Let's go to Greg in Florida. Greg. Hey, what's up? Fantastic. Hey. Well, I got a good shit story. It's actually oh. twofold. It's the same day. Twofold. Okay. Yeah, it's a twofold. Well, it was about 12 years ago. I used to drive a truck for a bread company. And I, I just like how it got old fashioned for a second. What's twofold. Uh, the next one would yeah. be thrice, uh, thrice a shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually have more shit stories, but this is the best one okay. I guess you'd say. But anyway, I, I ate something that morning that obviously didn't agree with me, mm. and um, you know I started feeling it, getting the sweats, and you know getting the fucking goose pimples on your arm, and so I pulled over the truck, went out in the woods, and didn't have anything to wipe with, so I took a dinner roll with me, and of course took my shit. Wipe with the dinner roll, and as I'm walking back, I saw some squirrels sitting there eating the damn <laughs> Wipe his ass with a dinner roll. With a dinner roll. That's you know, fucking that's great. A, you're a true gentleman. <laughs> that is dinner a, roll. That is about 30, 30 minutes later, it, it hit me again. So they're I'm eating dirt it. cookies in Haiti. <laughs> He's wiping his ass with a dinner roll. <laughs> America. So I'll tell you what, it was, it was silky. Better than Bob Kelly's damn uh, Oh, lap. shit, listen. That could be, yeah. you know, wiping your ass with a dinner roll. That is the <laughs> ultimate <laughs> yeah fucking that means that we've got two years left in this country <laughs> that's the end of rome that's yeah, the end yeah. of the french when you're wiping your ass with the dinner roll wiping your ass with the he's very roll. resourceful though that's good thinking sure sometimes is. you're proud of yourself and it's like well, i figured this out how do you oh, have rolls and not a napkin though where were you <laughs> 
<laughs> you drove a bread truck. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was on a bread. Yeah, it was out in the middle of nowhere. Mm. Wait, so you opened the big? He opened the big back of the truck and took out big one doors. dinner roll. <laughs> One yeah. lucky dinner roll and never going to make it to the dinner table. <laughs> yeah, and then the, the squirrels were kind of shaking their heads as they were eating it, so I don't know. They, they, no, they, right. they're fine. Well, then, right, that, that part I don't believe. That, oh, dinner roll, that dinner roll could have been on the table with a family going, yeah. thank you, Lord, for these uh, <laughs> gifts we are about to receive. How come there are only 11 of these? Yeah, oh, wait a minute. Right. You are the dozen shitter's have... dozen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. Not sure. You go for the baker's dozen gag. <laughs> shitter's dozen is funnier. <laughs> Fucking baker's dozen like an old lady I'm trying to spit out. <laughs> That's a baker's, is it? <laughs> it is shitter's dozen. All right, we're gonna yes, take a, break. a baker's dozen is 13, a shitter's dozen is 11. 11. My, my dog, let me just cap it by saying that my dog ate a full shit diaper yesterday. Oh it's, there's nothing. That what is the fuck is with dogs? The worst with dogs? moment in a parent's life. It's ate worse than anything that's too? happened. She eats, well, she doesn't finish. Ugh. That's the thing. If she gobbled it up and, ate, and cleanly ate it, I wouldn't care. Ugh. But I come home and there's a, the remnants of a full shit diaper all over the floor, oh and she's got a, literally a shit eating grin and <laughs> shit in her fucking uh, whiskers. That was like sushi for your dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that was very enjoyable. Ugh. All right, more shit stories after the break. Oh, and uh, good, good thing. And we might have another Stan Meyer situation here, a guy that invented another car that would uh, make us all happy. What happened to Stan Meyer, by the way? Do we know? I, I hear uh, it could be hoax, but oh. I don't know. What's Stan It was Meyer? a real news report, though. Yeah, I know. All right, we'll explain <laughs> next. Uh, we we'll started with this. Here's Chris Berman, uncensored. Okay. From earlier, we played this with the bleeps, oh, yeah. but now you get it, get it without the bleeps for XM. When I'm doing TV and I got 18... God damn it. Can't everybody stop for 10 minutes? I mean, everybody seems that that's the only... Everybody can we stick... Jesus Christ. I mean, it's not that much to ask. Is that when everybody has to move when I'm trying to concentrate? Jesus. And you guys thought I was a pain. I mean, it's so rude. I can't believe it. That's it's so goddamn rude. Just why does everyone all of a sudden have to move? I've had two fucking hours to move around. Wait ten minutes. Jesus. I'm sorry to explode by that, but that's it's like no one's ever worked on TV here before. <laughs> Jesus. Sunken under the kill. What the fuck do they think I'm doing? I, I, I really, I actually can't believe what I just saw. Not now. It's like no one here has worked on TV before. I hear a dial tone. And there were seven people, though. I mean, Jesus. We need to use the studio for 15 fucking minutes. Just everybody, you know. The Opie and Anthony Show Award for Most Disturbing Phone Call goes to... Donkey Sausage. What the... Do me one favor. What yeah. cuddles? Why don't you get some whore into your studio and have her shit on the plate and put it in the microwave and then have her roll around in there screaming donkey sausage, donkey sausage. Raquel? That would be me. You want to shit on a plate for us? Okay. And then run around saying what? Uh, donkey sausage? Donkey sausage. Dude, Jim and Dean's donkey sausage. <laughs> I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> donkey sausage! Donkey sausage! Donkey sausage! I like it. There's something oddly attractive about that. That's got to be a promo. The Opie and Anthony Show. Oh, nice. And we're back with the Opie and Anthony Show. Yeah. Playing a little black music for Black History Month. Yeah. Started up today. Black. I see Dr. Steve on the bleachers. Black history. Yes. We got a full house out there. Dr. Steve has his um his show coming up on on the virus. Saturday Night Virus with Dr. Steve. Yes, he did his first one. It was a big hit. Everybody uh, loved it. A lot it, of phone calls. It was a hit. It was huge. It was a hit. What's the matter? It wasn't a big hit. It was a hit. What? <laughs> I was here. I saw the reaction. Yeah. Those phones lit up with people that wanted to talk about people's dirty parts, pretty much. Really? <laughs> yeah. Everybody wanted to talk about uh, the erectile dysfunction. Um vaginal anomalies there was a lot of excitement when you saw dr steve for the most part these bleachers are filled up every week and you could give a shit but yeah. uh, you saw dr steve you couldn't get over to him fast enough. i had to go over and shake dr steve's hand we correspond a lot man dr that? steve really yeah what's that about dr steve's a good guy he's uh 
He's 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 like the answer man. Mm -hmm. If you have any uh, issues, ah. you want to know some information on things, mm -hmm. he's very knowledgeable, he's Dr. Steve. He's got a lot Steve. of panicked calls from me. Oh, uh, has he? <laughs> uh, it burns a little, but I'm a, uh, <laughs> Yeah, what is Steve that? Rules. Yeah. Hey, last time Dr. Steve came to New York, we made him uh, check, what, Pat Duffy's prostate? That was right. Oh, guess what, uh, guess what Dr. Steve? You're going to have to do it again. Why? Because it's going to be his thing. <laughs> his thing? Yeah. Uh, we like to give people their thing. And, I mean, he's known for, like, sticking a finger up Pat Duffy's uh, it's asshole. A great, great use of an MD license. Yeah, yeah right. We're he, trying he, to get... could be working for Doctors Without Borders in Darfur. <laughs> Again. Fucking intern's asshole on a radio show. <laughs> Who do we have lined up for uh, today? Uh, well, we're trying. I mean, the big get is Roland, but Roland, uh... <laughs> Roland will do it. Roland. He ran away. It. Where's Roland? Someone's got to get a finger up their ass because Dr. Steve's in town. It's his thing. We'll examine Roland's leavings. <laughs> <laughs> Roland, get over there. No. Roland, Dr. Steve, has, there. Dr. Not Steve has a great voice for radio, too. Yes, he does. Roland. Not doing it. Everyone has What's their the price. Matter, get over here. I know, but... <laughs> oh, come on, Roland. I got an idea, though. At least get on mic so we can discuss this. We're not going to just hold you down and yeah. stick a finger up your ass. Exactly. Yeah, we've no, seen you fight. We're hold you down and stick a finger stick up your ass. Dick up your ass. <laughs> no one wants to fight you. We saw Wait. when you get uh, mad. It's not, it's not pretty. Why do we have Dr. Steve standing in the door like a Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> he's like, is he, he can come in and sit down for yeah, a moment? Can he be a little closer? Yeah, he's, 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 that's, he's, that's Dr. Steve. He's good. <laughs> Okay, I'm good. Are you good. comfortable over there? Yeah, yeah I'm he is. He's, he's fine. He's with I've been somebody, all day. and they're just going to... He's gonna... fine. All right. Hey, Roland. No. Uh, yeah. Why wouldn't you get... You might have cancer. Well, that's okay. That's, <laughs> a, that's yeah, okay. I'll, I'll be a surprise when I go to see a doctor. You're one of those uh, guys that you just don't want to know, right? No, I just don't There's want There's a lot know. of us out there. So when I do fall down and get yeah. to the hospital, I go, oh, my God. What would it take for you to get a finger up your ass? This is this it is legit. Dr. Steve, this is legit, right? You can't fuck around. Your, your license is at stake. You're, right. He's going to put a glove on. No, it would on. absolutely be legit. He's going to put a glove on. He's going to lube up, and he's going to do what? You were hey, in... jam it in and feel around. Yeah, you were, he was in Pat Duffy's ass for maybe five seconds. <laughs> maybe. Okay. No. Roland, have you ever had an exam for your process? State. No. No. Really? How old a no. gentleman are you? Twenty-eight. You're Twenty-eight. How about if I give you forty dollars cash? No. hundred. What if I give you forty dollars no. cash? Like the other option was, you're going to write him a check. <laughs> yeah, or an IOU. Or give him merchandise. With a little note for getting yeah. his finger in your ass. Let's in negotiate. The memo. Cash. Let's, cold hard cash. Hold on. Let's negotiate. Roland books all the celebrities for our show and the guests. Hmm. What guest uh, do you want us to have on the show that we said no to? That would be very important for you <laughs> oh. in your career. I think that's too. Why don't you just fire him if he doesn't do it? Oh, I like that. Idea. Idea. He's so, yeah. Just tell him he's fired. He does with do an a good iron job. Fist. No, he's done a great job for us. Uh, Eric Logan has, has ass, noticed, by the way, your oh. job lately. Oh, thank you. See, look, you'd go behind the couch over there. No one will see you. You're bent over. All mm. we'll see is from your chest up. And, you don't, and, and you it's can, legit. Keep your hoodie on, legitimate. and it's legit. It's, it's not a goof. He's a real doctor. So, any it's, guess you guys passed on, or which guess do you wish we would take that we said no to? Well, there's a long list. But <laughs> well, give us a couple that we have said no yeah, to. That's true. Uh, let's see, coming up. I'm trying to think. Of... Look, he's got the glove on and everything. Doctor Steve is very anxious. He <laughs> he needs to do his thing. Very anxious. Doctor Steve's known for this, and we got to keep the bit going. Mm -hmm. Right, Doctor Steve. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and he's actually in town doing a show. Yeah, when is your show? Tomorrow yes, night. Um, Saturday Night Virus weird, show. What's weird that? Medicine on the Saturday Night Virus at 9 yeah. Eastern Time. We're answering medical questions, and we have a special celebrity guest. And, mm. Oh, cool. It's Kevorkian. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Roland. Oh, how do you swing and miss on a Kevorkian joke? <laughs> <laughs> Roland? Jesus, I should be yep. shot. What do you think? Uh, Look, we're moving the couch. It's a, it's easy. No, I don't and he, know. He's Pat legit. Duffy, come on in. He here. is real, and it's not. A good, we're not going. He's not going to. I think you. we know he's going to. It's actually for your <laughs> own. It's <laughs> for your it own benefit. Work, I, I don't know. But he is I'll, really, I'll be honest. I'll be listen, honest with you. We know it's you're not gonna... a pleasurable thing. I know. But it is for your own benefit. It, 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 if my, you find out that you have a healthy prostate, everything's fine. My if dad had one last week. He goes, ugh. Yeah, it's it's not a comfortable thing, but. It's not something that's going to kill you. I mean, it, it, not doing it could could kill you. It's it doesn't, okay. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. That's okay. I've been Look, the fact, pleasant. The fact that you balked and thought, said, what guest? 
like that means yeah. that a finger is going in right. your ass. Yeah, today. he's interested. It means he's thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, if you were going, you know, because if, if it was me, I'd be just going, this isn't going to happen, guys. No matter what, this isn't going to happen. Yeah. The fact that he already said, well, what guess what specifically guess? means there is a finger going what to be in though? his asshole. I, I don't know if you look at the list. Of what <laughs> How about this? Mm-hmm. If we give Roland, um, if, if he does it, we allow him to book, say, any any two guests. Yeah, we'll go to. Like, the two guests, you don't even, you could just tell two. us what day. Uh, we would like to have a certain day lined up. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have no choice. We will not have to clear them with I us. I think Roland's scared that he's going to make cumsies in his pants. No. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> a little shy. He's a, I think it would be really funny to have the guest, you book the guest, and then we, we have to explain we, why they're we on don't our show. know. We don't no, even know no, who no, they no. are, no. dude. They're ne we're never told who they are. Yeah, all right. Roland just brings them in and sits them down, and then we have to, yeah, do tell them why they're in here, uh, and do the interview. Now, listen, off the cuff. And I want to go to Pat Duffy. Pat, now talk to Roland. The, Pat Duffy really had a finger up his ass last time mm -hmm. Dr. Steve was in town because it's Dr. Steve's thing. He's very gentle. <laughs> it's my thing. He's very gentle. He's very, very gentle. gentle. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And it's good and to it, know. I mean, you might as well just get it done so at least you know that you're healthy and you don't have anything. And it was awkward, right? It was a little awkward. My, my I, I don't want to lie to, him, yeah. to Roland. It was but awkward. Hey, by the way, did but you no take... one saw his ass or anything. Even Dr. Steve didn't see. He was kind of just feeling around and kind of... Did you take my daughter's shit to the doctor? It's en route right now. Okay. The leavings. I the leavings, yes. Dr. Steve is actually... It is what he does with the prostate. Like, he's actually been known with patients to say, you should have your prostate checked. And when they say no, he goes, come on, please. <laughs> <laughs> he loves this. He lives. I don't know, though. I don't know. And Dr. Steve, you you should have came here yesterday. We had hot girls. Like, oh. They had asshole gaping going on in the studio yesterday. And uh, you could have checked them out for all sorts of things. We were very disappointed that yeah. we uh, missed that one. Missed that one. You know, you check them all and then laugh as you tell them <laughs> they don't have a prostate. <laughs> <laughs> would have been well, very, yes, very yes, funny. of prostate cancer, <laughs> yeah. just like every female of every species on Earth. <laughs> All right, Roland, what are the, what are the bad news is but you fingered in the ass. It's <laughs> still a good idea to eliminate it. What, what's going uh, on with Roland? While I, while I come on my pants. Uh, well, all you'll have to do is tell us when the guests are coming in so we can block the time. Yeah. You don't have to say who they are. Two guests of your choice, but just tell us on uh, Friday at eight or whatever. You know. Pick it could be anyone. Is that worth the finger in the ass? Why not? He needs to, to do that for for work, and uh, it, there's also a couple of favors he could probably call in, and it's mm -hmm. legit. Yeah, and it's not going to we'll, hurt we'll, you. We'll, we'll do a and fun interview. Roland, quick. you've people, listened to the show before, yeah. so you know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah I, <laughs> pay, I don't people, see you getting out of this. People but. pay for this. The only thing insurance I companies pay people uh, to have this done. It's something we're giving you a prize. I this know. is going to happen to you. What? I mean, <laughs> at some point in your adult life, this is going to happen to you. Right, right. Yeah. I feel okay, though. Yeah, yeah but at wow. he's right. At some point, whether it's now, whether it's at, at, at 30, 40, 50 years old, at some point, you will have yeah. this done. So you might as well. What are you putting it off for? And you I always remember. For bad news. <laughs> your first time. You right. always remember your first time. Yep. It's a big fear of men is prostate cancer. And the bad news is, is, is scary, but I, I just got a test and then I had a fucking a sonogram done where they had to like, uh, look at my prostate and everything and they said it was healthy and I was surprised. I didn't think it was, so I feel completely Over relieved. Over fucking worked. Yeah. I felt pretty good. <laughs> Take good dumps. Yeah, but Dr. Well, Steve's got like a big dumps. He's got the glove and everything. He's ready to prostate go. Prostate cancer doesn't, you don't go like, ooh, I feel prostate cancer-y. <laughs> yeah. It just happens to your body and it kills you. That's true. Hey. It, it eats you asshole and dick first. <laughs> <laughs> and then you die a year right. later. Boy, you should put or that in a PSA. This, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Prostate cancer is very serious. <laughs> it's your it asshole. eats you asshole and dig first. <laughs> oh, gotta get checked. <laughs> then it has dessert on your balls. <laughs> Scott M from Hop Hog writes: Don't negotiate. Just tell Roland to open up his butt cheeks Friday wide. <laughs> you would. You would be. Let, let me be a little reality here. Let's say, God forbid, you you have prostate cancer. Um, it usually winds up spreading. To uh, other organs, your your hips, your bones. Once it gets in there, yep. you're you're done. Now, if you're laying in in the uh, cancer ward, your your terminal, they've told you 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 just have months to live. You would probably think, I'm being honest with you, God, I I wish I would have had that done, and I could have avoided this. 
You would you would be saying that, wouldn't you? It's like if someone smokes I got and they have lung cancer, reason. you would say yeah. like, "God, I wish I would have stopped smoking." I got a better reason. Do you, have, uh, how much, Doctor Steve? How much does sticking? How much do you charge people to stick your finger up their ass? Well, for a complete physical, it's about anywhere from one fifty to two fifty. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. well, see, so yeah, you're making money. <laughs> yeah, you're saving that. It's like I have full medical. <laughs> I, have full medical. I have full medical. Yeah. Dental, dental, eyes. Dental, eyes. <laughs> yeah, you got eyes. two of those. Come on, Roland. It's uh, behind the couch. No one will see. Yeah, for, we don't need. It's good for you. Talk. No, well, no, no, no. There no, won't be no, any. No, no one's no. gonna see your butt or anything. It'll just be your face. Yeah, let's get the robe. Yeah, there'll be a robe, so it's easy access, yeah, and the one that no one's wears? no, no one right. sees anything. The fact that you're standing here talking about it means you put it on back. We're gonna take a finger. Let's in the just let's just get this done. Yeah, because you are happen. curious probably because you know it's something you're gonna have to get done anyway medically. It's like oh, even if not for the radio show. Well, so everybody medically. loves medically the, everybody like, loves the limelight. Like a little bit of it, just mostly for the guests. That's what I'm like. Okay. Everybody <laughs> wants to be a star. Don't you want to be a star today? Yeah, yeah. this is a uh, great big shiny star. This will be very professional too. This is like a stripper. He's couch. never gonna do it because he knows that we're gonna keep asking. So <laughs> he's making a, he's making twenty bucks a dance, making you know us ask. Uh, we'll, we'll make him we'll make him pay. He's if not he doesn't, gonna do we'll it. We'll make I'm him pay if he doesn't do it. Yes. Yeah. I will start saying. You need to move from yeah. bribery to blackmail. Yeah. We'll pretty start soon. saying yeah. no a lot more than we do now. Trust yeah. me. Ah, oh, look Trust at that. Me, There's another side to this. Oh, it's going yeah. right to the oh, yeah. nasty, of nasty course. part. Okay, let's just keep it as two guests, and then we'll... Two, two guests. guests. Okay, and then... Of your choosing. We'll have... be good guests, too. That won't... We have no so choice. So going to do it, then. Hold on, let me just interrupt yeah. real quick. You guys out there, you can do the paperwork on the commercial. You don't have to do it now. They're enjoying... Yeah. You, guys, you can fill out the paperwork on the commercial. <laughs> yeah, the whole reason you're here is to watch Roland get Yeah, you don't, have to, yeah, you don't, don't have, have to fill that out. Now. The fact that that was just handed to you in the middle of the show is really irritating. You Relax. Enjoy yourself. Or, you can do it on the commercial. There's no rush to fill that stuff can, out. Can I get three guests and we'll do it now? Okay. I say yes. Three two, guests two TBS, over, one over a yes. period uh, of... He's oh, no, no. No, but they'll be all, they'll all be named guests that you will he's all He's playing us. No, no. No, he said three right now. I say he's playing us. No. <laughs> I say three right now. But now, wait a minute. We can't have three guests in like a week. No, 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 no. It's, it's got to be spread, spread over like four months. Four how long? Months. Four or five months. Three guests yeah. of his uh, hold choosing. Hold on. But we said two. You're going to three. So now we, this is a bargaining thing. Now he checks you for a hernia, too. What is it? A hernia. Fair enough. <laughs> you got to be more likely to have a hernia than prostate cancer. Yes. Oh. Anyway. So he's going to like uh, grab your ball and then you have to cough. I don't hurt at all. It don't hurt at all. And then we're talking three guests. See, all that's right. what I do now. So now you get the hernia check and the finger up the ass. All right. Okay. All Here's professional, a... by the way. What this is this? Is that the robe? Oh, it's a towel. What it's happened a towel. to that big robe? It's fine. My pants are sagging. Oh, what? All that's right. Here, she's my ass I wouldn't oh. use that towel. We were using that yesterday to wipe uh, girls' asses. No, you just you don't need it. That's <laughs> all right. Okay, Give a tissue. It's fine. All right, get the pal talk camera. There... Well, no, it's just for your face. Just for the reaction. Relax. No one's going to film anything embarrassing. And we're doing this because it's Dr. Steve and it's his thing. I use vanilla <laughs> yeah. soap up there, so it's well, clean. Fair enough. I'm sure it is. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Dr. Steve's not thrilled that he has to do this. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's it, not. But, it, but it's he's okay. professional. You know, in all seriousness, uh, prostate cancer is rare in people Roland's age. Testicular cancer is a young man's yeah. disease, and every young man should be checking his nuts on a monthly basis. So mm. if I can just get that out, then I at least feel like I've... I've uh, said something professional, and then now we can go stick a finger up Roland's butt. All right. <laughs> and you can check him for testicular cancer, too, yep, correct? Absolutely. Okay. That's a b fucking doozy. That's a biggie, Roland. I thought I had it because I had like a lump, but I had a doctor feel it. He goes, no, it's part of like, the no, way the van That's how you and I met. Oh. About the lump on your it was mouth. in a rest yeah. area, which was so odd. <laughs> <laughs> Through a glory hole. <laughs> no, is that how we met? Yep. Was that our first chat was about yep, that? sure was. No, I had an operation with that kid because there's no circulation on my left leg. Uh-oh. Oh, no boy. circulation. Now the confessions come out. <laughs> oh, boy. What right. do you mean, no Five circulation? <clears throat> Here, move the mic over to the, behind the couch so Roland can get comfortable. All Roland, right. you can just hold the microphone, I guess, Camera so no one's four. near you. That's right. Yeah, we want to hear the... <laughs> well, yeah, block him in there. I don't want to thank you. And Dr. Steve gets a mic. Okay. Yeah, Dr. Steve's got a mic. Dr. Steve's putting the glove on. You know, because this is what he requested uh, from the show when he comes to New York. He says, hey, you know, my thing is to, to, to stick fingers He's up. He's double-gloving it. Right, He's got he really two is. gloves. <laughs> I love the fact that 
that uh, the people he's with, they're pulling out cameras and everything. <laughs> 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 You've heard of a Tennessee two-bagger. This is <laughs> a Tennessee two-bagger. Two Please make this he's your doing Christmas two card. Gloves. Roland, and yeah. I, we swear there's no pal talk on your ass. If no, no. There, if there is, it's there. No, no it's not. Dead. But but you do have to uh, all stay clear of his face. It, it so barely from, matters that yeah. this guy's a doctor. <laughs> oh, I know. We really could have been let this audience member stick a finger in his oh, ass. I know. Stay clear of my it face, It wouldn't be that too, different. I, I do want to acknowledge that Roland uh, didn't really fight this one at all, by No, the he didn't. Okay, good. This was going to happen. He went from, from no from to, well, how no. many guests? No. <laughs> Within like I ten know. seconds. No. <laughs> There's movies no. coming up, so, uh, <laughs> so Roland is doing this so, wow. so he can book three guests that we would this usually say no booker. to. This is a good booker. This is a really good booker. All right, what do we got, Steve? I'm ready. Steve, you got to talk right, us through it. Okay, uh, so yeah. the first thing you have to do, my friend, is assume the position, which is to put your elbows on there. Yeah. Now put put Jesus. your. Uh, He's already breathing heavy from anxiety. Put your face forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh, this is that, and don't move your head around too much. I'm trying not to. Because this is the this uh, is the view we want. I'm getting upset. Wait, can I see the view on one of these cameras? I want right, to hold on. I want to enjoy the pal talk view. Hold Third on, Steve. Four. Hold okay. on, Steve. Okay. And I just added my <laughs> pal talk. Thing. All right, hold on a minute. Oh man. Can we think up a different bit for me when I come? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> can we be creative? God Jesus. forbid you. God forbid you check for breast cancer. A, you want. All right, there's Roland's Education. Face. All right, good. Is that a good uh, oh, shot man. of Roland? You think? From the that's telephone? pretty good. That's pretty good. You can uh, see the lines in his forehead, and yeah, that's just don't, just want. keep your keep your chin up. Yeah, keep your Let's chin up. That's good. Yeah, don't show us the top of your head. All right, yeah. this is we love getting the reaction shot. All if right, you Dr. can't Steve. see the camera right. while you're getting a finger up your ass, the camera can't see you. Right, you're getting a finger up your ass. All right, remember that. Are you doing the testicle first? Right. He's 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 lubing up now. And there it goes. It's going in. Hurting the It's buttocks. going in. Watch that face. It's going in right now. Oh. oh stay out of the way. Here we go. Oh, you ready? Oh, it looks like a... Oh, oh, one eye. <laughs> one got, eye. He's turning into pop. Roland, like, buddy, hack it. Roland? Uh, Perfect. Absolutely normal. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? <laughs> Roland? It was the most awkward thing ever. Uh, <laughs> let me go home and take a shower. <laughs> His ass is a little big, so I could only get in about one knuckle. <laughs> oh, wow. But, uh, but it was enough, and I've got long fingers, oh. but it was enough to feel you got a totally normal prostate. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, All right, great. let's do the testicular exam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the what ball. A, the doctors are fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. I, this I one. Oh, the serious one. Oh, Roland. All right. Uh, I think there's now, a I'm around. scared. Turn find the camera. Find your camera. There you go. Yeah, there he is. Head and cough. There you go. We got to see that now, face. Which side did you have surgery on? The left. The left. Okay. <laughs> Look at that fucking grimace. <laughs> that grimace. Yeah, totally normal. You're okay, man. Uh, All right. Boo. There you go. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Uh, what if he said you have cancer in your balls? Uh, We'd all laugh. We'd all be like, ah, uh, cancer. line of the day. Uh, you're going to die of ball cancer, you uh, fag. Wouldn't that be ironic if he got hit by a bus and killed when he left here? <laughs> you wouldn't even have to. A man to with perfectly ass. normal balls and anus. <laughs> no, the car finds grease in his asshole, and he thinks it was a lover's quarrel. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Rolling? Yes, yeah. Jim C. Roll. That's right. They found lubrication in his but it's Sam! <laughs> this was a lover's quarrel! <laughs> well, Quince, I don't think there was anything to indicate that. He's a fat man with a greasy ass, Sam! <laughs> it was lubricated. <laughs> it was lubricated. It was lubricated. It was murder. <laughs> Jim C. <laughs> Is this That's right. He had a juicy, delicious ass, Sam. Unlike that girl on my boat, whose ass is flat. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my members-only jacket. I'm going to get throat cancer, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling? Uh, yeah. Feeling a little squishy back there? Yeah, last week. Yeah, a little gushy. You might yeah. want to go into the bathroom and cry. <laughs> how it how was it? When wipe it in. out. It was all right. I was like, I'm about to take a dump, and then that's like, hey, come in here. So. <laughs> Is awkward. Yeah. Yeah. The gel inside. So, what guess are you thinking? Mm, I don't know. But that'll be a good guess. No. There's a guess yeah. that you might not think of. Like, oh, I don't know. So. Yeah. All right. Don't kill us too much. Oh, no, 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 See, I think you should renege on the thing. <laughs> yeah. he's, he can't sue you. Yeah. Here's, <laughs> here's, a, here's <laughs> what this nice guy, Louie, wrote down. 
<laughs> when he's done, you should say no to the guest and fuck you, too bad, sue us. Yeah. <laughs> he, couldn't, he couldn't actually sue you, just go, thanks for the finger in the ass, no, no to no. your shit guests. Take your guest and Business walk. as usual, you fucking dummy. <laughs> Hit the bricks, greasy ass. <laughs> Someone wants to know if you use the same uh, the same glove, because now they're thinking rolling that shit bag. <laughs> no, I, that's why I double gloved. I took the uh, one glove uh, off. Yeah, right. yeah. The lube was uh, Juicy Lube Wild Cherry brought to us by MySexyStore.com. Oh, All right. Oh, mm. that, wow. Oh, that definitely. I smell cherry scent. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a natural scent for a Mexican. <laughs> Dr. Steve's bit is uh, sponsored. That's that's terrific. Because it's your thing. It's your thing, Dr. Steve. Thank you. We'll try to come up with something. I always wanted to have a thing. But, uh, Derek in New Hampshire what's, or Indiana. What's up? You made a man take a finger up the ass to benefit your radio show. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Of course. What do you do for a living, asshole? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Puddle of AIDS from Jersey writes, Remember yesterday there was beautiful young girls gaping their asses? Yeah. Now this nervous fat boy's asshole and balls are being groped. What happened, no, guys, in one day? It is true. This show is uh, all over yeah, the place. It's a bit huh? of a seesaw. It's okay. That's yeah. fine. Ebb and flow. <laughs> hey, Dr. Steve, the big uh, promote for the show tomorrow night. What are you going to do? Uh, well, we've got... Um, a bunch of topics uh, that we're going to discuss, and uh, callers uh, calling in with their medical problems, and yeah. they always uh, tend to be things that they wouldn't ask the regular doctor, but have no problem talking about anonymously on a national radio show. Yeah. And it's uh, called Weird Medicine, 9 o'clock Eastern on uh, XM202, the Saturday how, Night Virus. How long is it, Steve, the show? Three hours this time. Oh, we, good, man. The uh, response last time was really so overwhelming that uh, Danny uh, said we got to do three hours. It went time, too so quickly we'll last time is what happened. It went amazingly yeah. quickly. Mm -hmm. Dr. Steve has a way, because I've talked to him many times on the telephone. A great way of making you feel comfortable and relaxed. You're really good. You have a great way at just as a physician because, like, I'm a nervous wreck. But even yeah. if like, you're not sure what's wrong with you, he still has a great way of kind of talking you through it. And you're like, all right, I'll fucking live through this. I'll live through this. <laughs> and, uh, you know, usually you're okay, but... Yeah. And what does a pimple on your dick mean? Like a pimple, like a white you head. stop feeding your dick chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't beat that line. Yeah. Is it bad? <laughs> Oh no, not necessarily. Okay. If it really is, it's a not pimple. me. I was uh, I was blowing my dad, and he had a pimple on his face. <laughs> but I, so I just want to know if I should worry about old dad. Uh, that, that sounds perfectly normal. Okay, good. Do you know I have a discoloration on my penis? Um, you want to show Doctor Steve? No, behind the couch, man. Uh, no, hmm. it's like on the head. It's a purplish color. It looks like somebody pinched it and went bad boy. <laughs> Um, and it hurts. It doesn't hurt. It, it, it's just a weird purple discoloration, like on the crown. Like a burst blood vessel or something. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. Um, you know, I would have to see that. But um, people's people just aren't perfectly shaded all over their body, and you'll have places that just develop that way. How long could have been, been an old trauma? Years. Could have been a lot of different things. It looks like the Virgin Mary. Is that weird? <laughs> I've had girls ask me about it, though, because I don't know what it is. Ah, uh, yeah, they don't mm. like seeing anything weird on a dick. Yeah, no, they want that's a nice clean sure. yeah. white slate. That's just, it. Or, bla or shiny black. Shiny black. Shiny black. Shiny uh, black. Capillaries yeah, called like a Hershey bar. Oh, yeah. a collection of capillaries, what? Called a hemangioma. It could be a lot of different What's things. What's a hemangioma I have to see from, it. though? Uh -oh. it, it just, it's a, have you seen those little uh, pink spots on people's skin? Uh, same thing. It's Watch just it look. A, you know, the body is. Uh, it's just a very complicated thing, and sometimes, uh, you know, especially on our skins, one of our most complicated organs, you'll just have things show up, and they really don't mean anything. It'd be funny if you looked at my penis like and you said show, it means... You show up and it doesn't mean anything. That, <laughs> that, however, is going to explode in 15 minutes. <laughs> it means my cock is rotting like a carcass. <laughs> and the tip Your is going to fall off cock is going to fucking that. become an undead, and it's going to kill you. <laughs> a zombie cock. Yeah, yeah. have a zombie cock. <laughs> I wake up and it's holding a razor, just cutting my fat little belly. <laughs> Why? <Again>. Why? <laughs> Sam, this was murder. <laughs> All right, Dr. Steve, tomorrow night? Yes, tomorrow night. Thank you, my friend. What time? Nine o'clock? Yeah, nine o'clock. Nine, 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 nine to midnight. Nine to midnight. midnight. It is very entertaining. Uh, a lot of callers mm -hmm. uh, call, and the phones are jammed. Excellent uh, use of a degree in yeah. education. People have, yeah, exactly. Really, yeah. And, Beautiful and, application. And it's it's really sad that he does get information out there. Oh yeah, he yeah. does. I almost find that sad <laughs> that he helps people. <laughs> 
<laughs> on this goddamn channel. The tip of his penis was purple, Sam. <laughs> Love it. Thank Love you, guys. The gym seat. That's all I Thank think you, of. Dr. Thank Steve. You, Steve. Right, I hated that show when I was a kid because I loved The Odd Couple. And yeah. I didn't understand yet that an actor could just go. You know, over. And I used to watch Quincy and so be right. like, be messy. Yeah. Where's being be messy? Funny. And Oscar Madison. Eat a like, big sandwich and let it fall on the floor. Wipe your hands on the curtains. <laughs> Where's your bathrobe? <laughs> yeah, it was I a whole it. new character and he was I all serious. It. And he talked about issues. He did that. <laughs> I remember he found the botulism in the stadium sink. Does anybody remember that one? Uh, no. <laughs> How do we not have any botulism. clips of dramatic Quincy moments? Yeah, we need dramatic so Quincy moments because it was such drama. And it was the only stupid coroner that was, like, directly involved with the crimes. There'd be gunfire and there's Quincy ducking behind a car. Throwing people's organs out at him. Decomposing <laughs> kidneys. <laughs> solving crimes. Yeah, he's, like, solving the crime. One man show. That fucking creepy Asian Sam always yeah. lurking around the genitals of whatever dead thing <laughs> Quincy was working on. He always walk in and Sam always would lift his jet black hairdo out of the lap of something dead. <laughs> well, Quince, I thought I dropped my contact lens. <laughs> You're practicing cunnilingus. Yeah. That's right. What a corpse. That's necrophilia, Sam. <laughs> Oral necrophilia. That's not a silent nod of a yes. <laughs> That dead. All right, we need more Quincy. Yeah, first. love Quincy. We're gonna do the the weigh in for the biggest gainer contest, but first we have uh, this fine piece of audio. Next, we're gonna store it up. Store it up so good. Still make folks. My jello's falling down. <laughs> <laughs> My jello's falling down. I My love, show's gonna. I be love that clip already. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. My jello's falling down. What the hell? You stupid. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, it's uh, good old uh, Merrill. We've uh, played Merrill clips before. It's the retard uh, hosting a cooking show, part three. It's a retarded person hosting a cooking show. Yes. Yeah, it's it's Merrill. They, they can do anything, those That's fucking... Good. They're handy capable, is what I oh, like to say. My jello's falling down. Excuse me. My show's going to be storing up the jello here. I'm trying, folks. My jello is not doing that great. Yeah, it's dying in the audience. It's because oh, your geez. brain doesn't work and your face is um, pushed in. This show is just going <laughs> to okay, be That's what the doctor said during the sonogram. Your jello is not doing well. You might want to remove this. You might want to. This is dark. Um, this show is just going to be. My pudding's falling, my jello's falling down, folks. Here. Yeah. I don't have no more tape and paper towels, folks. I don't what? I, I don't think. What? Uh, <laughs> it's a galloping wants... dumbbell. Oh, man. <laughs> he just, just wants his jello to come out know. right. <laughs> Julia guy. should have aborted that child. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> No, it's, it's fully a child. <laughs> <laughs> fully a child. <laughs> and by jello, uh, he means IQ. <laughs> Halitosis kid from Baltimore. Yeah. Yes. Uh, more from Merrill. Merrill finally shows you the final finished product mm. of his jello. Welcome back to the Mail Howard Kalen show. Um, we just came back from the microwave. Sounds like Pee Wee Herman. We cooked a marvelous. <laughs> Chicken and stuffing. You forgot what you stuffing. cooked, you asshole. <laughs> Let's see what, how it came out. His hands are red from touching it without gloves. Mmm. <laughs> mm. oh Licking God. good chicken. Licking and look at that with, um, and stuffing. <laughs> oh, who's eating that? Uh, I know. Yeah. Fingers he's using to shove up his nose, mouth, asshole. He's got a feather sticking out of it. It's still half alive. <laughs> Fucking dumb Merrill, he just took a chicken and took it by its go feet, smashed his head and cooked it. <laughs> just go seconds. work in the box factory, retarded man. Anyway, nobody Quit wants you. dreaming, it's just depressing everybody. <laughs> nobody, it's his special snot resume. Oh, just, God. Nobody wants you fucking salmonella uh, chicken. I'm going to fucking eat that. Bringing down the human curve, you asshole. 
Go fucking cook meth in a tub. <laughs> Spoiling her average intelligence, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Mm, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Roll that around in your mouth. <laughs> fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> and here's some Merrill. chicken. Chicken. Like, fucking bunch of grasshoppers in a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> They're still alive. Put fucking baby powder on it and yeah. vinegar. Just he just punches them with his fist. <laughs> That's the idea of cooking them. Good chicken. <laughs> Let's uh, find out more about Merle. People in the audience, people anywhere, do not cook alone. <laughs> Have your mom or dad or your brothers or your family be there when you're cooking. That's hilarious. Oh Excuse me, God. folks, my um, jello falling apart. You need your mother to tell you not to pee pee <laughs> in the jello. Because you will forget because you're all retarded like me. <laughs> Everyone's retarded. Don't cook, don't cook alone. And don't put your tongue in these tempting things. as a socket. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, you know, let's go to the phones. Uh, it's Mike in Cleveland. Hello, Mike. How about cooking with big tongues and drool droolia child? <laughs> Drool oh, there it is. Very nice. Chris in Virginia. Chris. Iron Helmet Chef America. <laughs> Iron Helmet Chef. Iron let's go to Carl in Utah. Carl. How's it going, guys? Hey. You guys rule. Hey, I just had a, a epiphany. I think you guys need to come up with the beep game for Merrill. You what? think uh, you hmm. think this might work? I don't know. Beep God game, already what? came up with the beep game. All intelligent <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> 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 All right, Delgano. Let's try uh, Mark in Philly. Mark. Hey guys. Hey. He should be named Martha Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's not a bad one. Excuse me, folks. My um, Jello falling Enough apart. about your Jello. Oh, excuse it. me. Uh, Jimmy, you think this uh, this Merle kid? He likes to cook. I don't think he likes to cook. This Merrill loves it. He loves it, right? But he probably doesn't have any heat on. They, they <laughs> no. don't poke the stove in because yeah. he might kill himself and it's everybody in the neighborhood. What, what about a cardboard box? He's just yeah. got a pot on a top Susie of it. Susie Bake Oven. <laughs> Fuck it. Put a rock in. It's still a rock. Susie Bake Oven. Well, Isn't it an easy bake uh, whatever. oven? Whatever. Fucking Susie. Got Susie in there. Susie Bake Oven. What about the Jello? What? Does he like the Jello, Merrill? Oh. He loves it. <laughs> Lives for it. He won't shut up about um, it. This show is gonna be um, good. Listen to me, people out there mm -hmm. in the no. audience. No. And and anywhere else in the whole world, do not cook alone. Be with your mom and dad or your family or because your they will have to teach you the way to cook. No, they do don't. Do not use a knife for. Anything. That's okay. only you. Just watch Neil put dressing on his salad. Don't put use a knife for anything. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, so Christ. good. Oh, what, what was, was that? that? Sound? That's the sound. Hey, of, don't give me advice. My brain works properly. <laughs> yeah, asshole. I could use a fucking knife. I, I'm using all my synapses. I'm like, <laughs> you're using twelve of them. You fucking useless <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. You think everyone's <laughs> retarded? <laughs> what the? F don't use a knife. Well, can we use the yummy for anything? Anything. Yeah, anything. Yeah. All right. Steve from Bayshore writes, uh, oh, God, uh, a pinch of extra clothes. <laughs> 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 Where's that fucking track? That's right. <laughs> you take a bowl and you fill it with disappointment. <laughs> And you stir it up with embarrassment. <laughs> Get the mixing bowl, put it on your head, and cut around with scissors for a hairdo that we all have. <laughs> <laughs> Do not use a knife for anything. Just watch Neil put dressing on his salad. Fuck it. Oh, so Christ. good. What was that? Sounds Fucking appetizing. Goddamn yeah. bronze medal winner. Fucking. All right. Once again, we attacked the tough targets. I know. We I know. really are brave Look here on this show. Look out, world. I'm better than that guy. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. We were lucky enough to be normal. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. Uh, why, well, why do we have to put it that way? Why can't yeah. we just make fun of retarded people? Right. Yeah. Who's to say what's <laughs> normal? Guilt free. Maybe he's normal. Yeah, right. Fuck good. him. He's ignorance is bliss. I say this guy is happy as a pig in shit. He don't know. <laughs> not and, well, not the as day clean. He shot this, he was. <laughs> oh, you guys are all tripping over each other. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the day he shot that video, he was happy. Could have been as soon as it was a wrap, he was like, oh, I'm getting tired. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm sick of the cooking. But everyone loves it. You bring happiness and joy and spread. Hey! I want to masturbate again. <laughs> no, don't. I want to masturbate and poop at the same time. <laughs> that is kind of a stereotype they have, is that they're just jerking off all jerking the time. Off, yes. I don't know if it's accurate or not. Simon from Little Virginia Lava. writes, did you find the show on Not Enough Oxygen <laughs> in the Womb Network? <laughs> not Enough Oxygen. <laughs> yeah, here we go. More of Merrill. Ready, set. Merrill's going to do some impressions. It? Ready, set, be retarded. <laughs> no. His <laughs> show is on HB. Oh. Oh. This is parent's oh. reaction. Oh. <laughs> Playing it. Merle wants to do some. <laughs> Merle wants to yeah. do some impressions Ask for everybody. And I want to tell you something. The one invitations I want to do before we leave tonight is Raquel Welch. Yeah. Da -da well, hi everybody. I'm it. I'm Raquel Welch. Yes. Yeah, what? Just what she sounded like. This show is almost over. Hip, hip, way to be. Well, you know, that's just going to be here. It's my all-time favorite. <laughs> it's Jack Benny. Well, I'm Jack Benny. <laughs> you know, my violin, that's how you play. Me, 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 me. Or Alfred Hitchcock. Well, hi, everybody. This retard sixty. Not even doing a song right. A pocky pig. Yeah. <laughs> Alfred, Alfred, your father should have pulled out his cock. <laughs> yeah, that's just what Porky Pig did. <laughs> He does these impersonations. I swear, you would think it was the real people. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's just what Porky Pig did. Yeah. He just stood in that circle and just went. <laughs> <laughs> did he even get to the the punchline? He of didn't that even phrase? say that's all, folks. No. no. He no. just blathered on like oh, like a retard or something. <laughs> <laughs> As if one would almost think <laughs> that the fellow was retarded. <laughs> If I didn't know better, I'd say that fellow <laughs> had a Down syndrome. <laughs> Old stegosaurus brain. <laughs> Fucking brain of a leaf eater. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's more? One more call. Oh, great. Um, next week's show, we're going to be doing Chicken a and scene Jello. from Motorola. What? Motorola... Where I was, the show's gonna call the topic is the life of Motorola from Mel Howard Kalen. What he does at Motorola. He's gonna spend the whole day there. What the fuck? The show's gonna be interviewing my pe friends, my boss, the people who are my best friends, who's not my best friends. We're going to introduce everybody. No one's your best friend. No. It means everybody. If you were, they means, lie. If you were an Eskimo, they would have everybody. left you for oh, the my fucking bosses. bears, asshole. <laughs> oh, my everybody. <laughs> the show's going to be fun, me. It's going to be imitations. There's going to be a lot of guest stars, guest hosts. No, there's not. No. Exactly. No one's coming. <laughs> no. And that's it, no. folks.
Yeah, Thanks for it. coming to the Mayor Howard Kalen show. Yeah, the forehead right. up is a great impression of Pete Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Mo Howard. We got Matt from Queensbury. Uh, Matt, what's up? Hey, guys, who is that? Chef Boy aren't our family photos ruined? <laughs> <laughs> Chef ah, Boy, come on. Jimmy, I'll see you in Albany. Thank you. All right. Watching out. Oh, uh, that kid. He's, he's... He would have been put out on a float if he was in a fucking Eskimo. They would have <laughs> put him on an ice float. Put him on an just... ice float and let the fucking. <laughs> the let the whatever's get him. The polar bears, right? He would have been naturally selected. Killer whale. They wouldn't have eaten him, but they would have sensed that something was wrong. Like the way you smell a piece of bad sushi. <laughs> yep. Wolfgang suck. If he was a fucking. <laughs> no, Wolfgang <laughs> cluck. <laughs> dope. Let's go to a. Uh, he was a fucking <laughs> Sioux Indian in the 1700s. They would have kicked him to death. <laughs> would have been the end of him. Prayed to their mm. gods never this to one send doesn't another. Work. This one broken. This is one brain this, broken. This one heap broken. <laughs> brain broken. <laughs> 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 fucking. This one stinks. It was a simpler time. Yeah. Just brain broken. Yeah, mm, brain broken. Kick, <laughs> kick him to death. <laughs> Must kick to death. <laughs> Must kick to death. They would scalp mm. him and use his dumb hair as a throw rug. <laughs> 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 they didn't they didn't keep Mike and yeah. Indians around. Mike yeah. knew something was wrong when they gave him moccasins and he ate them. <laughs> yeah. like, he has to go. He's, <laughs> he's not going to be helpful. Mikey. Hey. Hey. Me. Yes, yeah. sir. Hey, uh, shouldn't this retard be in a blimp tossing out fucking water balloons? Oh, that doesn't. <laughs> that's uh, hurtful. That's, <laughs> that's hurtful. I don't even understand that one. Yeah, nah, we did a bit to, 12 years ago that was blah, really blah, bad. Blah, blah, blah. Listen to it just the other day for the first time in 12 years, and mm. we're very embarrassed. Mm. Yes. Uh, biggest yeah. gainer time. Let's get the weigh ins going. Okay, we need a scan. Uh, Louis, we got guys just uh, pigging out and trying to gain as much weight in the next three months. Oh God, really? Going against all those fucking shows that are trying to get America. Who's doing healthy. it? What people in, on we your got, show? You well, know? obviously not Sam. We got Butcher. We got. Uh, oh, young, uh, where's Bronx Johnny's music? Bronx Johnny. Bronx Johnny. He's the like, lovely hey, Lily. Oh my God. The cute girls doing it? Yeah. The yeah. Lovely Why does that make her fat? I don't want to make her so fat. So no one wants her. I know my wait, wait, hold on. Why isn't her mic on? Why would that oh. work? Ron and Fez Nuna Three. Thank you. Ah, there's the plug. Got that first. Dave, you are looking good, man. You are looking good. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you guys have officially destroyed my fucking life. <laughs> you, you won. Ron says noon to three. Oh, and a six to twelve. You guys won. <laughs> wow, you're nothing anymore. I'm like a grown-up version of Chunk from you fucking Goonies. <laughs> You really have um, gone to shit. Did he, did he not look like this always? No, no, he was a, a slim thing. guy. I'm 195 really? when I started this whole fucking debacle. He was a slim guy. Oh, my God. Uh, he, on Ron and Fez's show, he winds up getting married. Uh, now he's expecting a child with his oh uh, new bride. And... He's turning into what looks like the typical fucking really, piece of yeah. shit father. <laughs> Look, he's got a wife beater on. You can see That's his belly really button bad. and tits through it. His awful white man tattoos. How much does he, I want to know how much Black he weighs. Bag. <laughs> yeah, whack bag tattoos. Yeah, my yeah. whole life is going this spiraling. Yeah, down. look at your belly, oh. your alcohol gut. abuse and overheating. Oh yeah, he's a ridiculous oh. alcoholic too. Financial issues. Thanks, Don. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, right, you look gonna... you look like you're gonna beat your wife at some point during your marriage. Yeah, I'm you're... there. I'm ready to snap. You, I'm snapping I see at homeless the... people all I, the time. I see you dressed just like that with the cops like wrestling you down and you drunk <laughs> arguing with them to get the yeah. fuck out of my house. It's Thank my God. house. <laughs> I got you... rights in my house, and they start spewing like what they think their rights are. I got the right to hit my wife in my house. It's like no, you don't. Yeah. And the and the, line. and the immediate. Turn from defiance to okay, okay, no, don't. All right, yeah, right when the don't, fucking don't. taser hits him with a mace yeah. in the face. Okay, oh, okay, my eyes are burning, burning baby. Asshole. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Bail me out. Bail me out, baby. The constant feeling of having this shit. If Doctor Steve had given me the prostate, there would have been poop on his finger. Really? <laughs> just from all the overeating. You're just That's eating ridiculous. too much. You're you're really taking this. Uh, I get all to, in. To That's heart, my literally. Hey. <laughs> this is great. All in. <laughs> Once he got married, I saw like this spiral oh, of uh, like yeah, you were a, a pretty wild 
single guy where you're out drinking all the time and yeah. but you kind of at least you kept yourself in some kind of right. shape. Yeah. Now I you've am, just given up. I've just destroyed myself. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Due to the radio business. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, who's going to weigh in first? I think we saved Dave for a little later. Let's, yeah. do, let's go with Lily. The lovely I'm Lily, how are you? I'm doing well. Lily's really a very, very off, slender, yeah. uh, pretty girl. She's Lily. five nine. What do you think the five Giants' eight. chances are of uh, winning the Super Bowl? I haven't... I don't know. I haven't weighed myself in like. No, no. What do you think the Giants' oh, chances are of winning the Super Bowl? But that's good not to be a I, narcissist. That's oh, the chances. Oh, I heard of. I heard of, There was a bet made. Yeah. Last yesterday. People talking about this bet that uh, went down on Ron and Fez yesterday. What was that about? See, well, my girlfriend was uh, in the studio with Ron and Fez yesterday, and a bet was made that if the Giants win against the Patriots, Lily comes over and spends the night over our house. It's true. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's the the deal they cut. She spends the night over your house? Yeah, but the Giants have to fucking win. Like, yeah, I should be in a car happen? right now just driving up to pull a fucking Nancy Carrigan on uh, you want Tom, to Brady. Tom Brady. You want to see just her in her jammies. You bash want to, her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah or I understand. out of them. Uh, sure. Whatever, yeah. Out in. Doesn't matter. I got cameras everywhere. Mm. <laughs> I, I lost weight. You lost weight? Yeah. I thought you, you were taking this seriously. I was, but you know what? I'm having womenly trouble this week. Uh-oh. So Where? I tend to not eat when I... Yuck. Oh. Wait, you're, you're having your period? You call it womenly troubles? Yes, <laughs> there there are are troubles. troubles. How old are you, Louis? Yeah. 60. <laughs> Aunt <laughs> Flo's come to visit. I womenly to troubles. <laughs> womenly. That's what the Irish called the fucking so terrorism. One, uh, the troubles. <laughs> trouble and The troubles. She's having womanly yeah. troubles. Yeah. I remember the, the times of the troubles. Oh, right. Yes. She's, this is my unclean week. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I tend to eat more. The curse. So don't the women eat a lot usually when they're well, having Well, before. Them? Before like, to get I ready for I tear my house apart looking for food. And like then they bear, bloat. Before yeah. I get my period. But yeah. once I have it, I have like By the absolutely way, no appetite. And right. she gets it pretty bad because those boots were white when uh, <laughs> she put them on this morning. <laughs> like, she yeah, has I'm red boots, people. Now. Red like, boots. Red thank boots. you. So what was Visual the wet? Uh, 25.4. <laughs> Lily has gained. <laughs> white boots, so White boots that were made red. From blood of her vagina. <laughs> See, blood came from her vagina. <laughs> and she, and she, she had white boots before. Clarence, I think it's a problem. Something inside of her was murdered. <laughs> <laughs> gypsy. Wow. <laughs> More gypsy. So what's the? So what do we got there, Sam? Lily has. Lost 2.2 pounds since our last weigh-in. How much did she weigh? And gained 1.6 from the mm. beginning. So wow. She's only gained a, a pound and a half more or less. Correct. What's a ruling if there's a hotel fire that kills the Patriots? Anyone? Ruling here? <laughs> Giants win by forfeit? What happens? Has that ever happened in a Super Bowl? <laughs> Depends on what she wears to sleep, though. She can stay over and wear, like, all I think she's a panties and T-shirt. You don't think she'd just be fun to yeah. have See, I knew. spend the night like a sleepover? Excuse me. Don't make me look shallow. Because I was sexualizing. <laughs> all of a sudden, I'm an asshole. Fun. We, like, we, we, to to like we could all politics. play Monopoly or something until late at night. Um, that's cool. <laughs> or poker or something. Yeah, yeah. More poker. Adults. More adults. We yeah. could play poker. Strip poker. I don't like the fact that Anthony's coming up sure. with a good guy. Like, no, oh, wear flannels. We'll play shoots and ladders. Oh, I'm locking the door <laughs> and holding her at gunpoint. Meanwhile, he's got a, <laughs> he's got a toilet cam hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Someone said, suggested yesterday that she would just be locked in the guest room with one of my guns and accidentally shoot me <laughs> as I walk to the bathroom. <laughs> How old are you? That? How old are you? I'm 26. God, she's cute. Thanks. I like her. Yeah, everyone loves Lily. I'm yeah. not very married, you know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm married, but not really. Oh, it's okay. I'm in okay. a relationship. Okay, that's fine then. That worked out nicely for both of us. Way to go, Lou. One flailing reach and yeah, one yeah. cold hard. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who, who's up next? Let's go with the uh, Bronx. Welcome, welcome. Bronx Johnny. See exactly what happened. Bronx Johnny making his way to the scale. Yeah, see, that's Ron, Ron Fez, number three. Hey, yeah. uh, Johnny, you high right now? I wish they test twice a day at my job, man. Twice a day? Yeah, they ain't, they ain't not fucking around. They don't trust right? you at all, do they? No. Twice a day? That's not... No one gets tested well, twice a day. No and shit, you know? That shit is crazy. They get tested twice in a week. What do you test for? Fuck, whatever's what, in your what, system. What are you doing? All that shit. Well, 
allegedly I do weed occasionally. No, 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 but what are you doing? <laughs> 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 you want to work, not drugs, allegedly and occasionally. Yeah. For, for what? Uh, Marriott and, oh, I can't even, uh, fuck him. Marriott and, uh, <laughs> fuck him. Majest what's some majestic homo shit? Cool hotel though, if you ever out there. Did you see some majestic homo shit? I guess. It's majestic something. I can't pronounce. A so you're like a hotel word. security guy. Security guard, fucking, I do janitorial shit if need be. What are you looking yeah. for? I'm looking for money, man. No, I mean, what are you looking for when you're doing the security thing? Like, what are you looking out for? Oh, I gotta make sure people packages get to them, nobody bugs the guests and shit. If someone calls up and says, I need, like, a wire for my computer, you're the guy that brings it up? Nah, I send the, the kids down to go oh, get Oh, fuck them, then. Okay. Yeah, we I got, guess. for some reason, you can have 14-year-old Asian kids working out there and call them interns. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit, that oh, sounds really? illegal. Really? <laughs> Marriott here in New York? <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> Little scandal going on. Wow. By the oh, way, boy. Interns. <laughs> Call interns, interns that are making that sneakers work in, a in the hotel. basement. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. great. Interesting. All right. Mm. What is uh, Bronx Johnny Way? Yeah, how you doing? Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. How much? Oh, boy. Is there a dot there? Or... <laughs> is there a dot there? <laughs> is there a dot? I, either way, 165 <laughs> or 1,650. <laughs> it's at uh, 195. I've lost about, what, eight pounds? You're all losing fucking weight. Yeah. What are you guys eating, AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> You're wrecking our bed. Ron and Fez are working you guys too it. hard. They work you too hard, except for Dave. <laughs> Dave's figured it all out. Look at his gut hanging out of his wife beater. This Ron pizza right he's now. He's eating right now, too. What a mess. <laughs> this Ron and Fez crew, they can't even, like, gain weight the right way. I'm fucking trying. Oh. I can't keep can the you, weight can, on, man. Is there anything you guys do correctly? Oh, yeah. Dave, you absolutely could be <laughs> yeah, in one of those movies. People, you pick people. There's some people that are fat guys in waiting. Yeah. Like your friend Dave here. Like, that's pretty Dave, much. I it, can't. If he ever looked skinny, he was just waiting to look like yeah. this. Yeah. Do you this, see him I like I can totally state. see him in a movie where he's it's in Boston and he's like the miserable yeah. Irish oh, yeah, totally. dad yeah. Yeah. who's just like no movie fucking he's angry. like a cartoon. everyone hates him yeah. he's like a cartoon yeah yeah I mean he's a caricature but these <laughs> other people are generally they they look like their bodies take care of themselves these are people who have a self cleaning system yeah Lily I don't see gaining anyway no, that's just, just gain it was just actually it was just a ploy to get you no. in here on a steady I basis I did go to the bathroom this morning oh you did that yeah. is my problem nice one I right. had to when I wake up I have to nice like one a three pound yeah, shit then. Yeah. yeah hey next time you take yeah. a dump while we're still on the air could you not flush and then tell us about it and then we want to like send somebody in there to check it out okay Pick all right, a good. I go here like all the time so. all right good let us know next time I'm serious to know. and right. Lily now has a camera on pal talk Yes, yeah, somebody sent it to me. Yeah, so uh, Creeps. she she cammed up last night, and we got to see her puppy attack her. Aww, oh, he was good. attacking. He was biting, but no, he's I know. You, well, you didn't have peanut butter, and uh, he's very <laughs> angry <laughs> with that. Yeah, he's crazy. What kind of dog is it? It's a Sharpe. Okay, cool. Little fat neck. You think yeah. the eyes clipped and shit, right? Yeah, my old one I did, but this one seems to not be so wrinkled by It was the eyes. growling, and then it attacked her face. <laughs> it was really funny to watch. Like wait, wait, why are we face. clipping the eyelids? I mean, nature, well, the they did fine are... in nature before humans had to start fucking no, with their eyelids. No, their Sharpays are all fucked up from uh, overbreeding. Breeding. So oh, they have to, they that wasn't they supposed get, to be in nature. infections in their skin oh, okay. from the fold. That's Stupid wonderful. Me. They're not supposed to be so wrinkly. People do it because they think it's cute, and then they uh, they get irritated, and they have bad lives. Look at Lily. Going. <laughs> but nobody <laughs> lo nobody actually loves dogs. They just like looking at them. That. Right. Yeah, why do you know that, Lou? What? Why do you know that? Because, uh, I don't know. I just he hear shit, and then I know it. Okay. And, Lily, you were in your bed. Know. you were in your bedroom last night? Uh, yeah. And you were wearing something. It was very, uh, very skimpy for you. I, you usually wear, like, usually dress like this. It was a little, but it, it had, like, spaghetti straps, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, a little spaghetti yeah. straps little spaghetti and stuff. Straps. Ooh, yeah, sure. so, uh, That's good. Yeah. Ooh. Well, pe it's well, a well, based on the reaction of the room, people were very happy. I will never go on cam again. You're never going to go on never. cam again. Never. Why? Creeps. They, see, you, Creeps. you fucking people ruin it. They well, do. What did you Creeps think they're going to. That's this, true. Well, How many I Arabs like were jacking off? Why else would somebody want to see you on a camera on? <laughs> Just so they could jerk off. Yeah. See it. yeah, I mean, do you think Crazy. they're going to... Pretty they want to see the expression on your face when they tell you how what big Giants fans they are? 
Like it's not quite. It's yeah. really weird. I Why don't are you smart no, dressed like that? You're a very smart, sharp dresser. You always have like a cool style. Well, she Girl was in scrubs. like her bedroom. It was nighttime. It was very late. It was getting up at like ten o'clock or something like that. And yeah. And uh, she was kind of in the bedroom. It was it was kind of dim lighting. Can yeah, fucking pal talk? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can pal talk fucking compatible with Mac already? Yeah, they better work Enough on that. Enough already. What the fuck? Yeah, because I have no Hurry idea up. what that is. Assholes. All right, we got to get Travis Wade because he's got to get back to work for a lot of the day and stuff. So next time Lily poops, we're going to take a look at her poop. Yeah. First, I have to take my pants off because Sam insists. It's not. Oh, Sam. Sam. That's All right. <laughs> Louis, what, look at these legs. Right. Look at these legs. They're good legs. Oh, no, Jesus. I don't know what these oh, are. Christ, when did you get out of Auschwitz? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Isn't that awful? Throw them on a pile of corpses already. <laughs> <laughs> that really Jesus. is horrible. Fucking you need, hairy sticks. You need to be slung into a corpse pile by an oh. SS officer. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Holy shit. That's ridiculous. I think they're nice. Yeah. Oh my god. Usually nice. legs like that are uh, walking around the beach, fighting, oh. f fighting for French fries. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did he gain a pound finally? I uh, I gained more than a pound. What did you gain? I'm at one twenty two point four. Oh, what a. F I think that's three pounds, right, Sam? Let me just put it in my spreadsheet. What an mm. exciting uh, bit we got going. This, this is, is thr yeah. no, this is thrilling. Holy yeah, like hairy shit. legs! You're now leading Lily by 0.8 pounds. Damn overall. right. All right. Yeah, they're in their own division there, Louis. The yeah. yeah, that's the lightweight division. division. So yeah. Now we go to either Butcher or or all right, Butcher. Butcher is our uh, ace in the hole. Butcher uh, looked like he was in shape for this whole time that he he's been here. Up until a couple of weeks ago, we thought he was actually in shape. Yeah. Like, he's a, one of those guys that looks like right. he's got muscles and stuff. But he was hiding a world of hurt underneath loose T-shirts. Mm -hmm. yes, Dave thinks he looks like crap. And then when we gave him this there challenge, when we gave him this wow, challenge. that's really good hiding. Yeah, isn't it? That's amazing. He's got a sleeper disgusting body. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Word. Oh, Butch is happy with his weight gain. No, uh, it's it could be better. Two seventeen. From what was you your weight? Two seventeen. Yeah. Jesus, I'm I believe the last one was two sixteen. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, you've gained one pound. Oh, what a pound. The fuck wow. I think I, I, think I out outweigh all these people. He's really, he's yes. gained uh, eight point six overall. <laughs> eight point six overall. I'm trying, man. You're working it. All you're, right. You joke about your weight, Lily. In like two days. What's that? You joke about your weight is fucking hilarious. Oh, the, it's a two because I weigh two forty now, and it's not supposed to be your age plus two hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what a healthy weight is. <laughs> it's not your a good age. form. No doctor's gonna tell you. <laughs> hey, your age plus two hundred. That's about what you should weigh. That's never a rule of thumb to follow. <laughs> no, I was watching a boxing match, and there was two guys, and they each weighed one. 15. And I realized these two guys still need a fat baby to make me <laughs> <laughs> like two grown men. I'm right. sure I'll weigh these guys if he weighs 217. I'm because I'm at usually at 240. You, you, lost, you have lost weight. You though. lost weight. Though. Yeah, look, yeah but I'm clean, still slimming there. down. All right, finally, east side Dave. Let's Wasting go. Wasting away. Here comes Dave. Look at this with disaster. Pizza. With pizza. By the way, I gotta also uh, mention that Eastside Dave is in Afro Wars. The, yes, he's also in Afro good. Wars. Uh, Dave, I want you to know that um, uh, Than has back. He's done. With that for a while. Yeah, he's out. He officially oh, shaved. Oh, yes. So now it's down to you, Sam, and Danny. But Let's Sam is like... Pizza for later. You, you're just... You're running away with this thing. Sam has got the natural, round, African afro. Yeah, but he said, Dave, it's getting interesting. I'm coming on now. You are, I, really? Yeah. I think, I think I'm I'm getting there. Because of yeah. our show, he, he's he got to grow his hair out. He's got a fucking huge belly. Now. Oh, it's <laughs> look at that. Tattoo. Look at the gut. Look at the like. I have a Sopranos tattoo. Look at his hate handles. Yeah, show Louis C.K. the <laughs> Sopranos tattoo. Like to see my Sopranos tattoo? What the fuck it is, is wrong with you? It is the worst tattoo ever. What come the here, fuck Come is here and look even, at this. I want Mr. C.K. I don't even know who that's supposed he to be. He thinks these are the Sopranos. Now, you ever see tats that look like real people? Yeah. Look yeah. at the horrible work this is. That's oh. awful. It doesn't That's look awful. like any of them. Nobody looks Hold like on. anybody. <laughs> Who did that? Uh, some guy from Long Island. Nobody looks like anybody. <laughs> I, I didn't do a lot of background checking on it. That is Jesus. horrible. Janet looks like fucking Joe Pepitone. <laughs> what, looks so like Janice is one of the people you got? Which one's Janice? You tried to do Are Janice? Yeah. No, 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 no. Metal. It looks like oh, the Meadow. Meadow like... who looks like Janice, who looks like Joe Pepitone. No, it and looks... then wait a minute. Who the looks like Gene Wilder. The sun looks like a superhero. He looks like... It looks like the Kiss Alive also, cover. also, the shit this guy chooses <laughs> to get tattooed, it's like he sees a... 
an interesting McDonald's <laughs> no. commercial. And he's like, I'm going to get a tattoo of that. No, that was another. I found that kind of a music for a minute. I'm going to get a tattoo it of just, it on my body. It just a looks bad like one. Mount Douchemore. <laughs> <laughs> my whole thing is just a billboard of bets I've lost. I got yeah, there, bag he loses bets. Lucky boy, which means pedophile uh, in prison. Great joke by Mr. Bennington, but Ron. Uh, uh, lucky Jesus. boy <laughs> means pedophile in prison. Yeah, he tricked me. You better not go to prison. Uh, wow. Uh, so let's no, see. No, that's my switch. Yes. Step let's up see what there. he weighs, though. You are. A, a fucking Dr. Okay. Zayas looking Damn. motherfucker. That Sopranos tattoo is horrendous. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? Yeah. And what was your starting weight? 195. 195, okay. That's a sweet boy. 195, that is skinny. 202.2. Wow. He's I, I thought it was a lot way more. more than any of these people. I thought that was a lot more. So did I. I'm very surprised at that number. You have to, uh, you but have to work seven, harder. Seven pounds. Yeah, that's pretty good. Team, I, uh, you got a lot of stress in your life these days. I do. Team ONA is winning on all fronts right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Every like, class. Yeah, every class. Of course. How do you like being married, Dave? Do you like it? <laughs> I do, Jim. I like to come home to a hot meal once, two, twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble. Are you? <laughs> oh, Louis weighing himself. Jesus Christ. How what much are you, sweetie? 242. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 242. How do you look skinny? Maybe you're putting all muscle 242, on. 242, I'm gaining weight. Dude, is it you all muscle? You slim down. You don't look like 242. No, you that's, really don't. You hide you. it well. That's what it says on the How thing. How tall are you? 5'10"? I'm 6 foot. You're 6 foot. You don't look I have a long torso, so I spread it out. But is that no, it? Look at this. <laughs> 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 All right, wow. there's the way, and that was really exciting. All right, I liked it. It was uh, yeah. fun. I like talking to these people. Yeah, they're great. Good group of people we have here. Noon to three. All right, noon Owen to eight. three. Owen eight, six to noon. Thank you. Bronx See John, you. you got anything else? Manifest. I love this I kid. I apologize really? for fucking being underweight. Yeah. I will fucking Why? pig out till I gain some. Love Pootie Tang, Lou. That's the shit. Thanks, man. And appreciate the fact you, you, you actually made killing your kid kind of funny. When you killing had about a fucking... Uh, when you said you had her by the fucking end, the tailpipe of the car? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't kill her, hilarious. though. She didn't die. Well, I said almost. I didn't say you did. Okay. But well, hilarious, no doubt. Thank it's you hilarious. very much. Thank you. I love Catch Bronx. you all later. All right. <laughs> Play his music. Yeah. Bronx Johnny gets his own music when he comes on our show. Look at him just struts out. There he goes. Bronx Johnny, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Time for line of the day. Ski Colorado. Keep that uh, going there. I like that. Yeah, that's Come good. on, Sam. SkiColoradoNow.com for info yeah, like on great really. deals at 26 Whoa. world-class Everyone resorts does. and up-to-the-minute snow conditions. Log on to SkiColoradoNow.com. Here's a runner-up line of the day. <laughs> I loved this one. No? Clearly on the same pot as the other. Oh, like, right. Oh, clearly. Well. <laughs> the old transition's a little rough. Yeah. Oh, True. we're ready. Oh, it was no. a confirmation that I had indeed flat. I had flat. It looked like a fucking a shit nail head. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that's a great line. That oh, I don't know. I'm just feeling shy. <laughs> Here's a uh, another runner-up line of the day. <laughs> read what the doctor said during the sonogram. Your jello's not doing jello. well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Always. Happy to put out a retard joke. Of course you are. Right to the next one. Dream analyze. <laughs> no, you're not. I dreamt I was flying. All dreams mean the Socks. same thing. It's the Jews trying to control your mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's what every dream is. <laughs> and finally, the last runner-up line of the day for today. It's got a feather know. sticking out of it. It's still half alive. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dumb Merrill. He just took a chicken and took it by his go feet, smashed his head, and cooked it. <laughs> just go seconds. work in the box factory, retarded man. <laughs> Wait, nobody Quit wants you. dreaming. It's just depressing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Very nice. SkiColoradoNow.com. Here's your line of the day. Here comes... comes. Line of the day, line of the day, line of the day, Sam. The day he shot that video, he was happy. Could have been as soon as it was a wrap, he was like, oh, I'm getting tired. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm sick of the cooking. But everyone loves it. You bring happiness and joy and spread. Hey! I want to masturbate again. <laughs> no, don't. I want to masturbate and poop at the same time. If you rape you, we ain't to take that to for the hunger. 
<laughs> uh, Louie, any plugs? Uh, fucking Wilkes Bar. <laughs> I don't have to pay. Is it Wilkes Barre? No, Wilkes Bar. It's Bear. the Kirby Wilkes Center. Bear. The Kirby Center in Wilkes Bar, March seventh. But more right. importantly, Buffalo, uh, the <laughs> something center of the arts, <laughs> on February fourteenth, <14th>, and <laughs> Cleveland, the Playhouse, on the fifteenth of February. All right. Please come to those shows. Something center. I have to plug. Uh, no, you don't. But but I do. Oh, okay. Mm. Next weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend is Bananas in Poughkeepsie. Mm. And then February 15th through 17th is our Cobbs in San Francisco. And I have a bunch of dates going on stale soon for, like, Seattle. On stale? Portland. On stale, yes. <laughs> We're going on stale. Um, no one gets away with shit on this I, show. As we shouldn't. You're nitpicking douchebags. I'm a tripping cunt. <laughs> Fucking, I talk for a living and I can't do that properly. I put teas where they don't belong. Lord of not in cells. Give me those ribs. <laughs> Under the rage joke, Sam. At least he's expanding his repertoire. <laughs> one impression, one joke. <laughs> and finally, Dr. Steve, the big plug for your show. I want to thank you for sticking. Yes. I want, to, I want you to... What? Oh, all right. Dr. Steve, everyone, I just, just want to thank you for sticking your finger up Roland's butt because, you know, it's your Thank bit, you for man. the opportunity. <laughs> that's your thing. <laughs> thank you for the opportunity. But that's your thing. We started it. we got to keep it going. Thing. Yeah. It's a uh, great thing to have. I was working on a T-shirt for you. So. Thanks, man. Yeah. Listen to uh, Weird Medicine, uh, 9 o'clock uh, Eastern on XM202, Saturday night on the Saturday Night Virus. Very good. Tomorrow Dr. Night. Steve, Tomorrow very night. entertaining show. Thanks. Right. I'm going to uh, come by and hang out. Why? Yeah. Do that. I like this. And then we all go out afterwards and get shit faced. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> it's excellent. It's excellent. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, brother man. Uh, <laughs> oh, face! <laughs> oh, ho, ho! Touche, my friend. <laughs> all right. Quick job. Thanks, Dr. Steve. Thanks, man. Roland, anything? Did he clean out your asshole? Uh, I cleaned it out. Was it gushy and yeah, kind of uncomfortable? Yeah. And what? Like liquidy. Yeah. It wasn't that bad, right? It was awkward. It was awkward. By the way, I just realized that I was talking to Lily with a fucking breathe right strip on my nose, and I want to <laughs> remove it with a shotgun blast. <laughs> all right. First of all, if she worked in my office, do you have it a would shot? Be, she's doing one of those. Oh, no. I'm, I'm not even here. I mean, without the breathe right strip. No, but I just, you don't want to just talk to her. It's not even about that. So you just don't want to talk to a pretty girl. With oh, a I got fucking you. band aid on your nose. If I worked in an like office douche. where she worked, I would be just, that would be my whole day. Really? Like, okay, it's been 24 minutes. I think I can go over again. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> say, <laughs> no productivity <laughs> whatsoever. It would just be constant. <laughs> Remember those days? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Holy shit. Great. If you ever had to work in a real office. Uh, and there'd be a girl who's just <laughs> right. like, she doesn't have a scar across her face, so you're right. in love with her. <laughs> you're, just, you're like, oh my God, she weighs less than 300. <laughs> I guess. They really she uh, smell like actual shit. I want to have. A, I, I guess they really did need to invent human resources because yeah. I forgot about that. You would always come up with some dumb excuse why yep. you had to go to that side yep. of the office just walk asking by. for something. Yeah, or... Exactly. <laughs> hey, right. how's it going? Did you notice if they had uh, dropped? Uh, if there's their new coffee in the coffee machine? <laughs> yeah, it's all I, dumb stuff. I don't know. Filters. You may want to just go check it. <laughs> says I should go check it. You're right. Yeah. Okay, mm. I'm gonna go jerk off to you in my cubicle. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, that is hilarious. Oh, uh, it's so sad. It's so true, though. Is yeah. that the uh, the new Nissan I saw you pulling up in this morning? Yes. Just anything to maybe get a little more personal into your personal <laughs> exactly. life right. that I could talk about. And the best part is the. She was always like a four or five, like you said. It wasn't yeah. even that special, but it was no. like the only female in the Stare, area. You get, you just look at her neck and her, <laughs> her fucking cheeks. You're like, she's got the best skin in the world. So you're going to shenanigans with everybody on Friday? <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Yeah, no, huh? No. All right. That's fun. <laughs> Great. All right, guys. We'll see you Monday. It's Flea Man from Westchester. I love Jim Norton because of his brutal honesty, his hilarious commentary on society, and that he likes to kill, rape, and eat people and admits it. Do you have any fantasies about Jim? I'd like to be in between him and Rich Voss and have them flip a coin to decide who fucks me. Fucks me, fucks me, fucks me. Fucks me. Fucks me.